Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Hokage. My chat group through history. Chapter 81. Thank you for your hard work, just let me do it next. Yu Yu slightly gestured to Naruto who was stunned at the side, then turned and walked towards Kegaya. Yu Yu stepped lightly on the void, and a transparent white light flashed under his feet, lifting him high into the sky. Taking one step forward, in a flash of white light, his figure appeared further away, only a few steps away from Kegaya, and he was there in the blink of an eye. Yu Yu stood in front of the planetary devastation. Although the behemoth was frantically devouring all the boulders around it, it seemed to regard him as an invisible thing and bypassed his existence alone. Can it be split from it? Shinomiya Yuzuki looked at the magnificent planetary devastation in front of her. Its scale was already astonishing, with both sides extending to the end of her sight, but its edges were still invisible. Let's try it. As she spoke, Yu Yu instantly switched to sage mode, with deep eyeshadow outlines on her face. Sage art dust style Taishu sword god. He raised his right hand high, and in an instant, a clear and bright white light shot out from his palm and shot straight into the sky. Immediately afterwards, under Yu Yu's control, this white light condensed into a sky-reaching light sword, with a sharp edge that seemed to be able to divide the world into two. So handsome. This power. The boy Obito's eyes were full of shock and admiration, and he couldn't help but sigh in his heart, he is worthy of being the leader of the group. This is the first time he has witnessed Yu Yu's strength. Below, Naruto looked at Yuzuki standing in front of the planetary devastation holding a lightsaber, scratching his head in confusion, is he trying to rescue Otsutsuki Kegaya? Should we stop it? Sasuke and Kakashi cast helpless looks at the same time, obviously feeling powerless against Naruto's naivety. It is obvious that both Boy Obito and Six Paths Obito are on the same side as Yuzuki. They can neither stop it nor can they stop it. Just dealing with two Obitos would be hard for them to defeat. What's more, the Yu Yu in the sky, even though he is young, can make Six Paths Obito show such respect, and he is definitely not an ordinary person. Just take it one step at a time. There was a trace of worry in Kakashi's eyes, but this was the only way to deal with the current situation. Kakashi, Sasuke, look. Naruto's eyes suddenly widened, and his mouth was so big that it seemed he could swallow a whole durian. Sasuke and Kakashi also stared blankly at the sky. The scene was clearly visible without Naruto's reminder. In the air, Yuyu waved her arm lightly, and the lightsaber cut into the planetary devastation effortlessly like a hot knife cutting through butter. In an instant, the center of the huge planetary devastation suddenly cracked open, revealing the Otsutsuki Kegaya buried deep inside. Kegaya raised her face slightly and stared deeply at the person who broke the seal. It was really cut off. Sasuke raised his eyebrows, his face full of disbelief. You know, it was Six Paths Planetary Devastation, a technique that was said to be able to create the moon, but it was so easily cut off with one blow. Who is this? The world is bigger than he imagined. This. Everyone's expressions froze, and their eyes stared blankly at the sky. Is this the strength of the group leader? Too exaggerated. Even Six Paths Obito couldn't help but be moved when faced with such an incredible scene. Did you see it, Kakashi? This is my friend. The boy Obito raised his eyebrows proudly. Okay, okay, I know your friend is great. Kakashi responded helplessly. Without stopping to marvel, an even more shocking scene ensued. Yu Yu changed form again, and the sky-reaching lightsaber suddenly compressed and turned into a ball of light. I saw him pointing at the ball of light, and in an instant, the ball of light burst out with dazzling brilliance. The cut planetary devastation quickly shrinks under the light, and every overflowing light is a release of dust style. Within 10 seconds, the planetary devastation, which was as huge as a meteorite, completely disappeared without a trace. If it weren't for the fact that there were potholes with missing pieces everywhere on the Earth, everyone would have thought that the planetary devastation had never been activated. Without the obstruction, Otsutsuki Kegaya's figure was completely revealed. She stood in the void, looking at each other with Yuyu. Shinomiya Yuzuki looked at Otsutsuki Kegaya in front of her with curiosity. Except for her unusually fair skin, she looked just like ordinary people. There were a few tear stains on her innocent and charming face, which were obviously traces of having just cried. At this time, Kegaya was also observing Shinomiya Yuyu carefully, 
her pure white eyes flashing with curiosity, surprise, and a hint of fear. This sudden little guy possesses unimaginable power. Even the seal of six paths planetary devastation was easily broken by the opponent. She originally thought she would fall into the eternal sealed darkness again, but she didn't expect to see the light again. In an instant, a lightsaber piercing the sky and earth split open the planetary devastation, granting her freedom. She looked up at the figure in the sky, which was not huge, but made her feel extremely tall, and a strange feeling welled up in her heart. Shinomiya Yuyu suddenly took a step forward, approached Kegaya, and looked directly at her. My name is Shinomiya Yuyu. You may not recognize me, but that's not important. The important thing is that I have a good place. Do you want to go with me? There, no one will try to seal you away, and you won't have to worry about the threat of other Otsutsuki. How about it? With a gentle smile on her face, Yuyu made the invitation straightforwardly. Kegaya looked at him blankly, seeming to be thinking about something. After a long while, she lightly opened her red lips and nodded slowly. Good. On the ground, Naruto and Sasuke didn't care about the things in the sky. After all, it was beyond their capabilities and that was all. They followed Six Paths Obito to the place where Uchiha Madara fell, and worked together to dig him out. Six Paths Obito controlled a truth-seeking ball to spread out into a platform, carefully held up the dying Madara, and looked at him calmly. This super-strong man who once single-handedly stirred up the turmoil in the ninja world was now weak and fell down. The ideal he pursued throughout his life eventually became someone else's chess game, and he himself was just a vessel for the resurrection of Otsutsuki Kegaya, who had been manipulated and cultivated by Black Zetsu. Old guy, you also have times when you are so down. Six Paths Obito's words were filled with ridicule or emotion. Madara turned her head with difficulty, her eyes locked on Six Paths Obito, with some indescribable surprise. Quote dot dot dot. You're great, Obito. In his eyes, there was both pride in his ability to recognize people and admiration for Obito's ability to reach this level. He never imagined that Obito could enter Six Paths mode again after Ten Tails was stripped away. No matter what, Obito did it, and the person he manipulated his whole life finally became his savior. Although his time is limited, compared to being completely assimilated into a container by others, this ending is still acceptable. Six paths Obito deadpanned, maybe you're just talking nonsense. Madara looked blankly, as if reminiscing. I failed. But you will inherit my will. Don't deny it. No matter how much you hate me, we are the same kind of people from beginning to end. Madara's eyes showed recognition and a hint of relief. If you think so, I'm afraid you will be disappointed, old guy. Six paths Obito sneered, and Madara couldn't help but be taken aback by his determination. Madara sighed softly, and then said with emotion, it seems that you have changed a lot. He guessed that something huge must have happened to Six Paths Obito, so that his will was shaken. You know, Obito was a loyal executor of the, Eye of the Moon, plan in the past. Madara no longer persuades him. As a person who is about to die, he cannot influence Obito's choice. It's up to you, but you have the blood of Uchiha flowing in your body, and you bear the responsibility of reviving Uchiha. The glory of Uchiha will continue to shine in your hands. After the words fell, Madara's breath suddenly weakened, almost as thin as a gossamer. He slowly closed his eyes, as if he was ready for the journey of his soul to the pure land. Can't this guy stand it any longer? Shinomiya Yuzuki fell lightly from the sky firmly grounded, and looked at Uchiha Madara with a pair of inquiring eyes. Following closely behind, the figure of Otsutsuki Kegaya came quietly. She didn't say a word, and kept her pace at Yuyu's side. Even when she passed by Naruto and Sasuke, their old enemies, she didn't stop or look sideways, and just passed by. This made Naruto and Sasuke extremely surprised. The two looked at each other. This, should be a good thing, right? At least no more fighting. Are we still going to save him as planned? Six Paths Obito asked in a calm tone. Hearing this, Yuyu suddenly turned around and her eyes lightly glanced at the tailed beasts scattered around. Feeling this casual glance, the tailed beasts who had been whispering suddenly fell silent, and a tense atmosphere filled the air. It was as if there was a messenger from the underworld hidden in Yuyu's eyes, bringing an indescribable sense of fear. After looking around for a week, Yuyu looked back, 
pondered for a moment, and shook her head slightly. Forget it, plans can't keep up with changes. Things are unpredictable, but people are best at adapting to circumstances. Kegaya, can you save this guy? Yu Yu turned her face sideways, tapped Madara with her fingertips, and whispered to Kegaya. Kegaya followed Yuzuki's expectations and remained silent, only giving a slight nod in reply. Yu Yu grinned. Then it's up to you to take action. After saying this, he stepped aside to reveal space for Madara. Otsutsuki Kegaya stared at Madara, waved her hand gently, and a pure white energy poured into Madara's body. The Yang power of six paths itself has extremely strong healing capabilities, and this is only a small part of the power that Sage of Six Paths inherited from Kegaya. Kegaya's own level of power far exceeds those of those descendants who only received some gifts. What she exerts is the purest Yang power. In the blink of an eye, Uchiha Madara's face obviously regained its color, and the lost vitality was quickly returning. Call. Madara took a deep breath and opened her eyes suddenly. Hey, you're awake. The operation was successful. You are now an armed helicopter. Yu Yu came closer and said with a smile on her face. A look of helplessness flashed across Madara's face. Quote dot dot dot. I haven't completely died yet. I can hear and feel it. Feeling the power gradually awakening in her body, Madara thought for a while and sat up with all her strength. Quote exclamation mark exclamation mark quote. Naruto and Sasuke saw this, and almost reflexively put on a fighting stance, staring warily at Uchiha Madara on the ground. Madara seemed unconcerned and even chuckled. Haha, greet me with such a formation. Does my presence make you so nervous? Okay, but I have to remind you, shouldn't your real enemy be her? Madara's eyes turned to Otsutsuki Kegaya, who was standing quietly next to Yuzuki. When Madara said this, Naruto pursed his lips, full of disdain. Isn't this obvious? They can't beat Kegaya, but they can't beat Kegaya. Uchiha Madara is more than enough to bully you. Of course, you have to pick the weak ones. Facing Madara's gaze, Kegaya only glanced at him lightly, her eyes as calm as an ancient well. It seemed as if everything in the world at this moment, except the young man in front of her, could not enter her eyes. A flash of surprise flashed across Madara's eyes. Even without any intelligence support, he could identify at a glance that Otsutsuki Kegaya was obviously swayed by the young man in front of him. What's more, the boy had just ordered Kegaya to save him, and the truth was clearly revealed. This is the ancestor of the ninja world, the goddess of Ura. Who is this young man? He has such amazing abilities. Are you curious about my identity? Yu Yu smiled, and from Madara's eyes, it was not difficult to catch his hint of inquiry. Perhaps you should think carefully about what happened recently. Maybe you will find some enlightenment. Yu Yu reminded. Huh. Madara frowned slightly. Under Yuzuki's prompting, he indeed recalled the mysterious screen flashing before launching Infinite Tsukuyomi. But at that time, he was preoccupied with more important matters and had no time to attend to. What followed was a dramatic turn when Kegaya was attacked by Black Zetsu and was reborn. These details had long been forgotten by him. Until Yu Yu mentioned it, memories came back like a tide. At the same time, the sudden piece of information came to mind again. That was a brief introduction to a chat group. Chat group. Members span different timelines. Madara's eyes suddenly became clear and she suddenly understood. His eyes swept over the young Obito beside him. No wonder there were two Obitos here. He originally thought it was some strange phenomenon causing trouble. In this way, the six paths Obito in front of us may not belong to this era. This world seems to be getting more and more beyond the scope of understanding. Madara's eyes focused on Yu Yu again. So, you are the group leader. You have a sharp mind, as expected of Madara, you are the one below. Yu Yu smiled and nodded in confirmation. There are really countless heroes in this ninja world. Madara was silent for a while, then looked up to the sky and sighed. As a strong man, he has always been conceited. Except for Senju Hashirama, few people can catch his eye. Unexpectedly, in a field that he had never touched, such a terrifying and powerful force was born, and its influence even spanned time and space, almost miraculous. But he himself is still working hard in a corner, trying to build an ideal world. Moreover, he himself is just a puppet of others, being manipulated in the palm of his hand. 
Now that you are awake, I will no longer interfere in the follow-up matters. Goodbye now, everyone. See you in the group. Si Gong Yuyu looked around, smiled at everyone, and said goodbye. Kegaya, let's go. Yuyu waved gently, and a gorgeous portal opened in front of him, and he slowly walked in. Otsutsuki Kegaya followed closely behind, but the moment she stepped into the portal, she paused suddenly, as if she remembered something. With a wave of her hand, Wangquan Hirasaka activated, and a door to a deep space opened in front of her. She reached out and pulled out a dark object from the door. It was Black Zetsu. Hey Zetsu, who was held by Kegaya, couldn't hide his excitement. Mom, I knew you would succeed. His fight seemed to be in vain. Kegaya was obviously the final winner, otherwise how could he have thought of rescuing him? Mom, have those rebels been taken over by you? Heiju was talking happily, but before he could finish his words, he stopped abruptly. Because he found that Uzumaki Naruto, Uchiha Sasuke, Six Paths Obito, and Uchiha Madara were surrounding him, all staring at him with evil eyes. Especially Uchiha Madara, that look in her eyes seemed to eat him alive. Mother. Black Zetsu trembled in fear and quickly hid in Kegaya's sleeves, trembling uncontrollably. This, what's going on? Didn't mom win? Why was she surrounded by enemies instead? He wanted to look up to Kegaya for answers, but found that Otsutsuki Kegaya had walked straight into the portal, completely ignoring everything outside. After Shinomiya Yuzuki and Otsutsuki Kegaya disappeared, Naruto and Sasuke tacitly understood each other and took a few steps in tacit agreement. They quietly formed a circle, surrounding Uchiha Madara in the center. In an instant, the storm surged. The two of them suddenly attacked, Sasuke's palms were wrapped with thunderbolts, and Naruto was holding a huge Rasengan tightly, and they galloped towards Madara together. Madara had a smile on her lips and glanced across Naruto and Sasuke, as if she had expected this scene. The pair of Scarlet Sharingan rotated rapidly, and in an instant, a touch of lilac gradually appeared in the rapidity. Finally, the supreme pair of reincarnation eyes once again occupied Madara's eyes. The Wheel Tomb Border Prison. As soon as they finished speaking, Naruto and Sasuke's movements suddenly stopped, as if they were bound by invisible shackles, unable to move even an inch. Sasuke, it's those invisible clones. Naruto quickly understood the technique used by Madara. No, I saw it. The Rinnegan on Sasuke's left side flashed, accurately capturing the four invisible figures blocking their offensive. Naruto instantly entered the perfect Jinchuriki form, and with his malicious perception, he could detect these ring tomb clones hidden in the void. The two were about to go all out when Madara suddenly spoke. There is no need to continue the fight. Are you sure you want to start a meaningless fight again? Madara looked at the two Nazuo in front of her indifferently, seemingly not caring about the threat they might pose. The power of six paths given to Naruto and Sasuke by Sage of Six Paths was only once, and it dissipated after using Six Paths' planetary devastation. Today's Nazusa, one is the perfect Jinchuriki plus Sage mode, and the other is the Reincarnation I and Eternal Mangekio Sharingan with Six Magatama. The outcome is still unclear. You guys have made a mess in the ninja world, don't pretend to be innocent here. Naruto said angrily. Do you know how many people died because of you in this ninja war? A relic of the past, you should go back to where you belong. Sasuke said coldly, and at the same time unfolded the Suzano, easily shaking off the Rinku clone. Then he drew out the Kusanagi sword shining with lightning, and pointed the tip of the sword directly at Madara's head. Madara crossed her arms across her chest, pondered for a moment, and suddenly said, This responsibility is not mine alone, right? He looked sideways at Six Paths Obito. This guy is also guilty, so why is he only blaming me? Six Paths Obito was stunned for a moment, why did the topic come to him? Moreover, Six Paths Obito looked at Madara carefully, and doubts arose in his heart. Madara's character seems to have changed a bit. Well, how should I put it, it's like I've become a lot more open-minded after everything I've experienced. In the past, Madara would never have spoken in this tone. When faced with doubts, unless it was Senju Hashirama, she would have already wielded a knife in the face. Hey, don't try to change the subject. He's not from our era. What does this have to do with him? Naruto angrily yelled. Madara suddenly smiled, as if comforting a child. 
Okay, okay, how about I use the art of reincarnation to resurrect those who died in this battle? E.H. Naruto was stunned, and his anger immediately dissipated. The verbal attacks that had been tried and tested in the past were like hitting cotton wool, with no response at all. This guy Madara. When did you become so talkative? But no matter what, if he really wants to do this, this is undoubtedly the best result. Are you telling the truth? Don't lie. Naruto's eyes were a bit suspicious. I, Uchiha Madara, never lie. Madara spoke lightly, with the unique arrogance of the Uchiha family that made him disdain deception. However, a dissatisfied curse suddenly broke out from the side. Don't do this, you have the nerve to say such things. That's exactly what Six Paths Obito sounds like. Madara suddenly felt a little embarrassed. I've only lied to you once, I promise. Six Paths Obito snorted and turned away expressionlessly. Okay, okay, don't be angry. You're used to it anyway, so you won't miss it this time. The newly rejuvenated boy Obito playfully walked over to comfort Six Paths Obito. Unexpectedly, Six Paths Obito's face turned even darker as soon as he said these words. Kakashi covered his face helplessly, you will comfort him. Fortunately, at this time, news about Yu Yu came from the group, breaking the awkward atmosphere. Shinomiya Yu Yu, you too, do you plan to go back now, or do you want to hang out there for a while? Six Paths Obito, right away, right away, I can't wait. Shinomiya Yu Yu, you seem a little strange, I will open a portal for you right now. There is another one, will you come back? Uchiha Obito, I'll withdraw too. I wanted to play for a few more days, but suddenly I remembered that Lin was still worried about me. After sending the message, a portal to go home instantly opened in front of the boy Obito. Kakashi, I'm leaving, don't miss me too much. The boy Obito waved to Kakashi, walked toward the portal with a smile on his face, and was about to leave. But the next moment, Six Paths Obito grabbed him by the collar. Where are my photos? Six Paths Obito asked coldly. What photo? The boy Obito was stunned. Six Paths Obito's eyes flashed with a dangerous light and he remained silent. But a black truth-seeking ball slowly floated toward the boy Obito's butt, with an obvious target. Ah, I remembered. The boy Obito swallowed and forced a smile. He grabbed his right hand in the air, pulled out a few photos from Kamui's space and handed them to Six Paths Obito behind him. For you. Six Paths Obito took the photo, his smile full of expectation, but at first glance, the smile solidified. Why are they all taking pictures? I just want Lin's solo photo. Snap. Annoyed, he took the photo on top of the boy Obito's head. Each photo is a sweet photo of the boy Obito and Nohara Rin. Some are by mountain streams, some are on green meadows, and there are scenes of two people smiling brightly while standing on Hokage Rock. I really don't understand appreciation. The boy Obito pouted and put away these carefully selected photos that recorded their trip to Konoha. He reached into Kamui's space again and pulled out several new pictures. Here, take it. The boy Obito quickly threw out a few pages of photos, then used virtual blur to get rid of Six Paths Obito's control, and swished through the portal to escape. Before leaving, this guy even took away the truth-seeking ball from his butt. You. Six Paths Obito was surprised. Why is this guy so bold? If he hadn't controlled the truth-seeking ball to make it inert, the boy Obito would have died if he touched his hand. But at this moment, everyone else ran away, and he had no chance to curse. What a sloppy guy. With a helpless sigh, he picked up the photo and took a look at it, then stepped into the portal and left this world. Watching the two Obitos leave, no one at the scene noticed anything wrong at first. But soon, Kakashi seemed to realize something. They are gone, how can we go back? Sasuke was silent. Naruto was also silent. Madara was also silent. When Kakashi said this, everyone suddenly realized that Kegaya left with Yuzuki, and then Obito, the only one with the ability to control space, also left. So the question is, how can they escape from this space? Hot pills. Something bad is happening. Several people exchanged glances, and an awkward atmosphere gradually emerged. The corners of Madara's lips were about to move, as if she wanted to say something. But at this moment, the scene in front of them suddenly changed, and they were no longer in the initial ball space. 
In the outside world, the night is still low, and the sacred tree summoned by infinite Tsukuyomi reaches into the sky, with dense silkworm chrysalis hanging on it. Under the sacred tree, in a huge pit, Sage of Six Paths sat in the void, looking leisurely and contented. Kegaya was sealed again, and his mission came to an end. He gathered all the reincarnations of the dirty land, and also summoned the five shadows of the past from the pure land, and jointly performed the psychic technique to recall Naruto, Sasuke, Kakashi and the tailed beasts in Kegaya's space to reality one by one. Bang! Thick smoke rose, and the loving eyes of Sage of Six Paths penetrated the smoke, preparing to welcome the return of the victor. As the white mist of necromancy dissipated, Sage of Six Paths, sight passed over the figures of Uzumaki Naruto, Uchiha Sasuke, and Hitaki Kakashi, as well as Uchiha Madara. Wait a moment. Uchiha Madara. Sage of Six Paths looked at Uchiha Madara, who stood in front of everyone with an amazing aura, and couldn't help but widen his eyes. What's going on? As the container of ten tails, his life should be hanging by a thread after losing ten tails. But now, he is full of energy and vitality, but there is no trace of him looking like he is on the verge of death. Putting aside the doubts in Sage of Six Paths's mind, there was someone who could not wait to rush over there. He is none other than Senju Hashirama, and from the moment the psychic technique was activated, his eyes never left the scene. The moment he saw the familiar figure, he could no longer hold back and rushed over. Madara also sensed the familiar aura and suddenly turned around to look in the direction from which Hashirama came. A smile appeared at the corner of his mouth, and he was about to chat, but unexpectedly Hashirama had already spoken first. Madara, our era has come to an end, let our dreams be continued by the next generation. Hashirama's eyes were sincere and urgent. Madara, stop being so stubborn. Hashirama, who was previously immobilized by Madara's black rod, was unable to understand the battle situation in Kegaya's space. Now that Madara appeared, he came directly to persuade her, hoping to make Madara return to her lost ways. After all, Sage of Six Paths has returned from the Pure Land, and if he continues to fight, he is worried that Madara will die again. Now that you have been reborn, don't die easily again. Give me a reason. Madara looked at him and said with interest. Senju Hashirama mistakenly thought that Madara was wavering, and quickly responded, Madara, your way will not work. It is better to cultivate young people who are willing to follow us and inherit our dreams. That is the path to true peace. Madara shook her head slightly, I can't do it because I hate people standing behind me. Hashirama slowly lowered his head, his expression gradually dimmed, but after all, he still failed to convince him. However, Madara suddenly showed a playful smile, unless that person is you. Zhu Jian raised his head suddenly, a glimmer of light flashed in his eyes, what do you mean? Uchiha Madara's eyes are sincere. Hashirama, if you are willing to stay in the world and walk with me, I will give up the Eye of the Moon plan and work with you to pursue the peace in your heart in your own way. Madara suddenly smiled inwardly. He had no intention of continuing the Eye of the Moon plan, it was just a scam set by Black Zetsu to resurrect Kegaya. Unexpectedly, Hashirama came to his door by himself. This is great. Maybe he can use the reason of giving up the Eye of the Moon plan to coax Hashirama to stay with him. Without Hashirama, this ninja world would be so boring. Madara made a request, and surprisingly, Hashirama not only did not refuse, but also thought about it seriously. At this time, Tobarama came over, and he heard the conversation just now. But he clearly expressed his opposition to Madara's proposal. Brother, we are all dead and should not stay in this world anymore. Madara glanced at him sideways and said unhappily. I'm not forcing you to stay. If you don't want to stay, you can just use your dirt reincarnation technique to go back at any time. You don't need me to teach you, right? Tobarama was speechless and turned to look at Hashirama, brother. He wanted to persuade Senju Hashirama to change his mind. But Hashirama's face showed a trace of determination and guilt for Tobarama. I'm sorry, Tobarama. I must stay, I can't let Madara make another mistake. Staying will save more innocent lives. Ha <laughs> ha, don't worry, I won't be able to hold on for too long. I'll go down to find you then. Hashirama patted Tobarama's shoulder with a smile. Madara looked at him with a smile, can't you hold on for too long? With me here, it's hard for you to die, 
just live to the end of the world for me. Brother. Tobarama sighed softly. He knew that once his brother made a decision, he would never change it. So he stopped trying to dissuade her and quietly stepped aside. Hashirama. Madara reached out her hand towards Hashirama. Um. Hashirama was stunned for a moment, then understood, stretched out his hand and held Madara tightly. Looking at this scene, Tobarama's thoughts drifted back to decades ago, as if he had recreated the scene where the Senju and Uchiha clans met frankly and toasted to each other. Well, it's a pity that the original alliance between the two families did not bring the peace they wanted. I hope this time, their dreams can succeed. The heretical art of reincarnation. Madara's samsara eye suddenly shined, and a wonderful life force poured into Hashirama's body along Madara's arm. Hey, hey, hey. Hashirama's whole body seemed to be boiling, mist evaporated, and the cracks left by the reincarnation of the dirty soil healed quickly. Soon, Hashirama completely recovered from his state of filthy reincarnation. Now he has body temperature, life, and his heart is beating again. Hashirama clenched his fists, feeling this long-lost freshness. Wait for me here, I promised Naruto something. Madara left these words, jumped suddenly, and climbed to the top of the giant god tier tree. He looked down at the battlefield and began to form seals. The heretical art of reincarnation. The samsara eye was activated with all its strength, and the surging pupil power instantly connected to the underworld, and an indescribable power descended. That is the king of hell from the pure land of the netherworld. But this time, this captivating king of hell has become the messenger of life on earth. The invisible king of hell opened his mouth wide, and in an instant, countless souls escaped from his mouth and returned to the world. These souls were like swallows returning home, flying accurately to their respective bodies. Soon, the first sound of awakening sounded. Then, like a domino effect, the second, third, tenth, were resurrected one after another. In the end, all the ninjas who died in that battle were reborn. In the corner of the battlefield, a hedgehog, no, a genius from the Hyuga branch house slowly opened his eyes. Um, what's wrong with me? Ah, it hurts. Neji began to pull out the thorns on his back. On the other side. Bang. Uchiha Madara jumped down from the majestic sacred tree, and with a bang, a huge crater was made in the ground. He waved his hand gently, and the dust around him dispersed as if obeying the order. His eyes were locked on Naruto. Naruto, I have done what I promised you. I saw it. The clone sent by Naruto had already witnessed Neji's resurrection. He completely let down his guard against Madara, smiled broadly and said enthusiastically, Madara, you are actually not a bad person. Madara snorted. He didn't care much about this junior's evaluation. He turned to look at Zhu Jian and was about to say, Zhu. Unexpectedly, his feet gave way and he almost fell. This scene happened so suddenly that Hashirama and Naruto rushed to his side almost at the same time and supported him. Madara, are you okay? Uncle Madara, what's wrong? Madara's face looked a little weak, pale and bloodless, it's okay, it's just that the chakra was consumed a little too much. The art of reincarnation serves as a bridge between life and death. Once used, the cost is extremely high. The more people are resurrected, the greater the loss. Although Madara is the owner of the samsara eye and does not need to pay the price with his life, resurrecting so many people at once will cause a huge loss in his chakra. Upon hearing this, Naruto immediately turned around and greeted the tailed beasts. Everyone, do me a favor and give Madara some chakra. Upon hearing this, Nine Tails frowned. Naruto, are you kidding me? Are you asking us to help him? The other tailed beasts also had expressions of reluctance. Uchiha Madara treated them like that before, and it was good enough that they didn't retaliate. Now they want to help him. Naruto clasped his hands together and asked Nine Tails sincerely, Kurama, please help me. Uncle Madara has changed his ways now. Are you okay, Kurama? Kurama helplessly held his forehead, he really couldn't resist Naruto's rubbing. Okay, okay, but as agreed, I'm doing this for your sake. Nine Tails said seriously. Haha, ha, thank you so much, Kurama. With the big brother Nine Tails taking the lead, even though the other tailed beasts were not happy, they reluctantly gave some chakra to Madara. With the influx of chakra from the nine tailed beasts, Madara's chakra quickly recovered, and her face returned to color visibly. Call. 
Madara let out a breath of relief and stood firm with Hashirama's support. He looked around at the nine-tailed beasts with satisfaction. These guys are somewhat useful, but not useless. Originally I planned to gather you all for Konoha's use later, but now, forget it. In fact, your power won't be of much use, so everyone should go back to their respective homes. When the tailed beasts heard the first half of the sentence, they were all furious. This guy would turn his back on him as soon as he helped him. But after hearing the second half, the tailed beasts couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief, and even felt a little lucky. Fortunately, I helped him, otherwise the life in the future would be difficult. Uchiha Madara is already feared, but now he has the samsara eye. Once he catches his eye, he will have it for the rest of his life. Now that they have received Madara's assurance, although they cannot say that they will have peace of mind for the rest of their lives, at least they can enjoy a peaceful life for a long time. Especially tailed beasts like one tail and three tails who long for freedom have begun to long for a leisurely life in the future. Just when everything seems to be going smoothly. A sudden sound was like a pebble thrown into the lake, breaking the tranquility. Ahem. Naruto followed the voice and looked with a bright smile on his face. Grandpa Six Paths, we have completed the mission you assigned us. Sage of Six Paths had a warm smile on his face. Well, you did a very good job. The ninja world has been saved, thanks to you. As soon as the words changed, Sage of Six Paths, eyes fell on Uchiha Madara, but, what about Madara's situation? Why does Madara, who should have disappeared, appear to be full of life at this moment? Ah, this. Naruto scratched his head in embarrassment, not knowing how to speak for a while. Said the two Obitos from different time and space helped. Also, Otsutsuki Kegaya was taken away by a mysterious strong man. And Kegaya cured Madara before leaving. If you say these words, would six paths, grandfather think it's too weird. Fortunately, Madara stepped forward immediately upon seeing this and helped Naruto out. Naruto knows nothing about this, and asking him will not help. Oh. Then can you tell me? Sage of six paths, eyes were full of curiosity. I just kept it a secret, that's all. Madara casually made up a reason, naturally not mentioning the secret of the group chat. Sage of Six Paths nodded slightly, and it was unclear whether he believed it or had lingering doubts in his eyes. As for Otsutsuki Kegaya, you don't have to worry, she won't come back. Madara said affirmatively. Sage of Six Paths confirmed with a smile and then said. Then, the matters here have been dealt with, and it's time for me to return to the Pure Land. In the eyes of Sage of Six Paths, Madara's episode is just secondary. Kegaya's ceiling is the key. As for Madara's true intention, he doesn't care. Sage of Six Paths looked around and said to the shadows of the past who had gathered for the reincarnation of the dirty land. Everyone, it's time to leave. As soon as he thought, the shackles of the dirty land reincarnation were lifted. Although he was not the caster, such a technique was not difficult for him. Other pure land souls also felt the call and began to slowly break away from the fetters of the world. Dad. Naruto ran towards Namikaze Minato, who also greeted him with a gentle smile. The emotions between father and son flowed at this moment, and Naruto shed tears of excitement. Seeing Namikaze Minato disappearing due to the release of the Earth reincarnation, Naruto longed in his heart to spend a little more time with his father. At this moment, a voice sounded from behind. Naruto, do you want him to stay with you? Naruto turned around suddenly and saw Uchiha Madara approaching unhurriedly with a smile on her lips. Uncle Madara, as long as you agree, I can bring him back to this world from the pure land. Naruto stared at Madara blankly, with heaven and earth at war in his heart. He desperately longed for Namikaze Minato to be resurrected, but doesn't this break the balance between life and death? When Madara was asked to resurrect the ninjas who died in the war, Naruto did not hesitate at all. However, when the same choice was placed in front of him, he became indecisive. Naruto, it doesn't have to be like this, you are a strong boy. Namikaze Minato seemed to sense Naruto's hesitation and tried to dispel his confusion with gentle words. Besides, your mother is still waiting for me. I can't leave her alone. After hearing Minato's words, Naruto felt much relieved and was about to shake his head in refusal when Madara suddenly spoke. I can resurrect your mother too. These words were like a bolt from the blue, 
Naruto stood stunned on the spot, and even Namikaze Minato fell into silence. Minato looked at Naruto silently, why didn't he want to stay with Naruto and protect Naruto's growth with Kashina? But this is too much to hope for, but at this moment, this incredible dream seems to be possible. Naruto looked at Madara, his eyes red, he no longer hesitated and followed his inner desire. Uncle Madara, please do me this favor. Madara grinned and said to Naruto. That's it Naruto, power exists to be used. I have this ability and am willing to help you. Grinding and moaning is not your style. Sorry Uncle Madara, I won't do it next time. The way of the world. Suddenly, Madara stretched out her hand and pulled out Namikaze Minato's soul. His eyes flashed with purple light, and Minato's hands that disappeared due to the truth-seeking ball actually grew back visibly to the naked eye. Nagato's human path can only extract souls, but Madara, as the master, can also use it to repair damaged souls. After the soul was restored, Madara gently put Minato's soul back into his body, and then activated the art of reincarnation. Not long after, Namikaze Minato, the golden flash who died young, stood in the world again in peak condition. After briefly feeling the long-lost life, Minato looked at Naruto. Naruto. Minato smiled and opened his arms to Naruto. Dad. Naruto cheered and rushed over, hugging his father tightly. After bidding farewell to Minato, Naruto hugged Madara excitedly, Thank you very much, Uncle Madara. Uchiha Madara just smiled and said nothing. He secretly felt that being with Naruto was quite comfortable, just like being with Hashirama. Your Excellency Uchiha Madara, can you also help us? But at this time, several unfamiliar voices came in, breaking this rare warmth. Madara's smile immediately faded. He turned around coldly and looked at the people who were speaking. They turned out to be the previous generations of shadows from other villages. They seemed to be able to revive Minato after seeing him, and wanted to try their luck. Did I allow you to come closer? Madara asked calmly. Your Majesty Madara, we. The shadows of the past noticed Madara's displeasure and hurriedly tried to explain. But Madara's eyes darkened, and the pressure of the samsara eye was overwhelming. How could these shadows, who existed in the form of souls, bear even a look? They were immediately pushed to the ground, kneeling on their knees. HMPH, if Sage of Six Paths hadn't let you come out, I wouldn't even have given you the chance to go to the Pure Land. A bunch of rabble, also want my gift. Madara ignored them and took Naruto and Minato to meet Hashirama. Beside Hashirama, the figures of Tobarama and Sarutobi Hirazan also began to become blurry. After they said goodbye to each other, they were ready to leave without regrets. Seeing Naruto and Minato and his son approaching, Sarutobi Hirazan glanced at Minato apologetically, and disappeared with a trace of relief. Only Tobarama looked at Madara with an unhappy expression, my elder brother is soft-hearted, don't bully him. Madara sneered, you're worrying too much. Do you need me to resurrect you? Just nod. Tobarama refused disdainfully, no need. Then he completely disappeared and returned to the pure land. Okay. Now that they're gone, it's time for us to deal with this mess. Madara looked at Sasuke and Naruto. Remove infinite Tsukuyomi. If a person with the samsara eye and a person with all the tailed beast chakra form a child, seal, they can release infinite Tsukuyomi and the god deep forest creation. Sasuke. Naruto smiled and extended his hand to Sasuke. But Sasuke seemed to have other plans and slapped Naruto's palm away. Then, he slowly expressed his thoughts. After so much, Sasuke actually came up with the idea of killing the five shadows, overturning the world, and establishing a new order. And he also wanted to kill Naruto, completely cut off his ties to the world, and then become Hokage, rebuilding the world with ruthless thunderous methods. Everything else is fine, but you want to kill Naruto. The result is naturally. Wounded tomb border prison. Wood style wooden golems technique. Spiral Flash Chaos Roar 3 Styles. Sage Art Tailed Beast Recenturican. It didn't take long for Sasuke, who was bruised and swollen, to be grabbed by the hand, and with empty eyes he forced himself to complete the formation of the child seal with Naruto. Infinite Tsukuyomi was lifted, and the people trapped in the deep forest creation were freed. In fact, Madara can also form a seal with Naruto as a side of the Rinnegan, 
but he is obviously more willing to choose to beat Sasuke and force him to form a seal. A rebellious child needs a beating. You see, Sasuke's eyes have become much clearer. Kona has 60 years, Shinomiya Yuzuki's timeline. In Yuyu's home, a dazzling portal suddenly opened, and the deep passage seemed to connect endless different worlds. Yuzuki was the first to step out of this mysterious door, and not long after, Otsutsuki Kegaya followed closely and stepped into this novel space. Yuyu turned around, opened her arms, and had a warm smile on her face. As the owner here, it is natural to welcome guests. Welcome to my world. When Kegaya heard this, his eyes sparkled with curiosity and he looked around. Yuyu's world. Does he also have a vast space that can carry all things? At this moment, Heiju also came back from his meditation and carefully observed the surroundings and this mysterious man named Yuyu. He was full of doubts, he didn't understand Yuzuki's identity, and he didn't understand why his mother would follow him unreservedly, and even gave up the infinite Tsukuyomi she had been pursuing. Despite this, Heiju could feel his mother's importance to Yuyu, and there seemed to be some indescribable emotions intertwined with it. Although he didn't know the specific situation, as long as he could be with his mother and guard her, he would be satisfied. When Yu Yu claimed that this place belonged to him, Hei Bi Yu unconsciously became interested in exploring. He also eagerly wanted to know where the portal took them. Looking around, Hei Zetsu noticed a window not far away. He jumped out of Kegaya's sleeves lightly, moved to the window, and peeked out. With just one glance, the iconic Hokage rock caught Hei Zetsu's sight. He turned back suddenly and locked eyes with Yu Yu, isn't this? Isn't this Konoha? You said this is your world, so you are a Hokage. No, that's not right. There's no Hokage who looks like you. Black Zetsu quickly retracted into Kegaya's sleeves and whispered warily, Mom, this person needs to be treated with caution, he seems unusual. Kegaya lowered her head and looked at the nervous Black Zetsu, then turned her gaze to Yu Yu. Although she did not show any uneasiness, she was obviously looking forward to Yu Yu's explanation. Yu Yu smiled and motioned for them to come and sit down. Come, sit down and chat slowly. He waved a friendly invitation, and Kegaya didn't think twice, and walked to the sofa obediently, sitting down next to Yu Yu. However, Heiju looked extremely surprised and muttered in his heart. How could his mother obey him so much? This level seems to be beyond the scope of respect, but rather, deeply attracted to Yu Yu. He doesn't want multiple fathers. Ignoring the ups and downs in Heiju's heart, Yu Yu began to speak slowly. Three times five divided by two briefly explained the story of how he crossed time and space. There are actually people in this world who can transcend time and space. Heiju was very surprised. Black Zetsu looked at Kegaya. Unexpectedly, Kegaya's expression was only slightly disturbed, as if he had some understanding of this. Halfway through, Yu Yu stopped to let them digest the huge news. Yu Yu waved her hand lightly, and the refrigerator door opened in response, and two bottles of drinks automatically flew in front of them. Try it. Yuzuki handed Teru the Yoruichi bottle. Treating guests with coke has become a little habit of Yu Yu. Kegaya was slightly surprised and reached out to take it, full of curiosity about the contents of the bottle. For a being that has been sealed for thousands of years, everything in the world seems so fresh and interesting. Open it like this, this is a drink. Yu Yu demonstrated how to open it, inserted the straw and took a sip. Kegaya imitated Yuzuki's movements and tried to drink. At this time, Heiju couldn't help but ask, what about mine? I can be considered a guest. Yu Yu glanced at him sideways, do it yourself. This is a differential treatment. Heiju muttered a few words and said nothing. Yu Yu turned her gaze to Kegaya again and continued. The situation is roughly like this. I brought you here from the original world. It is now 60 years in Konoha village, a relatively peaceful era. Hearing this, Kegaya raised her face slightly, feeling filled with emotion. It seemed that her fate was not that tragic after all. He was rescued from the seal and brought to an era where there was no threat from outside Otsutsuki. Yu Yu smiled. Don't think too much, enjoy life first. You have spent so long in the ninja world, but you have never really enjoyed a good life. Next, relax and experience a different life first. Let Heiju take you around when you have time. Nowadays, the development of the times is much more advanced than that of your time. 
As for the future, there is still the Otsutsuki Ashiki hiding in the ninja world. I will take care of everything, so you don't have to worry. Kegaya nodded slightly, naturally full of confidence in Yuyu's strength. But after a moment, she suddenly pronounced a name with a hint of doubt in her tone. Yishi. Is he still alive? Yuyu nodded affirmatively. Yes, he was not completely swallowed by ten tails at that time. Half of his body escaped and became a parasite on a person named Si Xion. Kegaya frowned slightly and said worriedly, he is very powerful. If he is still alive, it may be a bit difficult. He will never give up. As a partner who once fought side by side with Ashiki, Kegaya is well aware of the horror of Ashiki. Don't worry, he doesn't pose a threat to me. Yuyu said with a smile. Seeing Yuyu's confident look, the stone in Kegaya's heart dropped a little. Yuyu's strength should not be underestimated, maybe he really can defeat Yishi. Thinking of this, she decided to follow Yuyu completely from now on. The Otsutsuki clan mostly operates in pairs in the universe, so it is not difficult to accept a new partner. By the time Otsutsuki Ashiki appears in my timeline, I will probably have transcended it. Yuyu thought in her mind. Yuyu's confidence is not groundless. It has only been about a week since she obtained this chat group that spans time and space. In just one week, he gained such great power. It will take at least several decades for Ashiki and other Otsutsuki to appear. By then, who knows how powerful Yuzuki will be. What's more, he is not fighting alone. The members of the group come from different timelines and are all his precious allies. They are also growing continuously, using the gold coin mall to improve themselves, and their combat effectiveness is improving with each passing day. After a while, the samsara eye and immortal body may become the minimum configuration in the group. Maybe that kid Obito can solo the Otsutsuki clan. But you still have to be careful about magical arts. The Otsutsuki clan still has some skills, and some powerful magical arts are indeed a bit evil. Wait a minute. If every time and space exists independently, wouldn't there be a mother and me in this world? Black Jew suddenly woke up. This is too strange, two mothers. If both parties give him orders at the same time, who should he listen to? Otsutsuki Kegaya nodded slowly. I can feel that another child is not far from us. Shinomiya Yuyu had an interesting smile on her face. Wasn't his original plan to bring Kegaya back just to deal with the black Zetsu that was running around in this time and space and was hard to catch? The other, Kegaya, is still sealed in the sky, but do you want to meet the other, black Zetsu? That's a good idea, let him come over quickly. Heiju said excitedly. He was very curious about how he would react when he saw his mother in another time and space. He has been running to save Kegaya all his life. At this moment, his biggest wish is about to come true. What will his expression be like? Kegaya smiled slightly. He is also my child, so let him come over. Shinomiya Yuyu nodded, then looked at Heiju. No problem, but before that, I have to give you a name to easily distinguish you two. Heiju was a little unhappy. Why me? Why don't you change that guy's name? I like my current name. Listen to him. Kegaya said. Quote dot dot dot. Okay. Heiju choked. His mother had already spoken, so what else could he say? Yuyu smiled confidently. Don't worry, the name I chose will definitely sound good. But Heiju's eyes widened with suspicion. You won't name me, Xiao Hei, or something like that, right? If that's the case, forget it. Yuyu was shocked. Had this all been guessed? It was so black that it really reminded him of a little black one. How could it be possible? I'll think about it again. Yuyu smiled awkwardly. Suddenly, Yuyu had an idea. Hey, here comes a new idea. How about calling it Tian Wenjing? Sigong Yuyu said excitedly. It sounds okay, at least it's much better than Xiao Hei or something like that. You still have a style that is rare in the ninja world. You are quite attentive. It's just, why is your expression so strange? Heiju asked in surprise. Really? No, this is my normal expression. Without waiting for Heiju to refute, Yuyu immediately closed the coffin and concluded, Okay, it's settled. From now on, your name will be Tian Wenjing. Heiju. Black Zetsu used the Mayfly technique to sneak deep into Konoha quietly, trying to get some important information. Almost close. He was really worried about what happened to the masked man in Konoha that day, 
which caused him to suffer such heavy injuries, and his whole person seemed to have lost his vitality. It's so wilted. This was no small matter. After all, the man's plan was closely related to his. Fortunately, after some consolation, the masked man finally regained some of his fighting spirit. But in order to feel completely at ease, Black Zetsu felt that he had to come to Konoha to see it with his own eyes. With that masked man's strength, he could suffer a loss in Konoha. Could it be that there is something new going on in the village? Recently, there has been news from other white Zetsus, saying that the news of Namikaze Minato's return to the ninja world has spread a lot. It's hard to tell the truth from the false, so I'd like to take this opportunity to find out. Arrive. Black Zetsu quietly appeared in a remote and hidden corner of Konoha. After looking around for a while, confirming the location, he went to the place where the information was stored in a familiar way. Konoha was so familiar to him that he had been back and forth so many times that he lost count. But just after taking a few steps, Heiju suddenly stopped and looked in one direction in shock. This breath. It's mom. Heiju was so excited that his whole body was trembling. This was definitely his mother's breath. But after a moment of excitement, he quickly calmed down and looked up at the blue sky. Although it was difficult to identify the moon phase due to the glare of the sun, he could still roughly sense the direction of the moon. No, mom should still be sealed. What the hell is going on? After thinking about it, Heiju thought that he still had to see it with his own eyes. The pitcher plant white Zetsu, who noticed black Zetsu's mood swings, asked curiously. What's wrong with you? Black Zetsu did not answer, and directly carried out splitting, detaching his existence from the pitcher plant white Zetsu. You go back first, I have a place I want to investigate alone. Heiju ordered. Okay. Nepenthes Baiju responded, then escaped underground and left. After getting rid of white Zetsu, black Zetsu immediately used the mayfly technique and flew towards the familiar aura of Kegaya. After traveling through half of Konoha, Black Zetsu stopped at one place. Right above here. Mother's breath. With an uneasy feeling, Heiju quickly walked upwards. Could it be his mother? After a few seconds, he broke out of the ground, his head sticking out of the ground, and he eagerly examined the surrounding environment. Judging from the layout, it seems to be an ordinary Konoha house. No one is home. Heiju looked around, but there was no one in front of him. He instinctively wanted to turn around and look behind him, but as soon as he turned his head, Heiju was stunned, with disbelief written all over his face, followed by uncontrollable ecstasy. Mom, it's really you. His voice filled the whole room with great joy. In front of him, Otsutsuki Kegaya, his mother, was sitting on the sofa, looking at him with loving eyes. A trace of confusion flashed through Heiju's heart. Why is his mother here? How did she escape the seal? After the lockdown was lifted, why didn't he come to see me? However, these questions only flashed in his mind, because his mother was right in front of him, so what else could he think about? Mother. Black Zetsu jumped up and rushed towards Kegaya's sleeves excitedly. Turned into a round black ball, eager to get into that warm haven. But the moment he touched his sleeve, a black shadow that had already occupied it suddenly appeared. It spit out a ball of pitch black substance and blocked the entrance to the sleeves, keeping the blackness out. You presumptuous guy, this is my territory, go somewhere else. Tian Wenjing grinned, full of pride. Huh, you're dumbfounded, this is my mother, you go find your own mother. Heiju's round figure fell to the ground with a thud, bouncing a few times like a ball. What? A surprised expression appeared on the black ball's surface. Immediately afterwards, Heiju returned to his human form and stood up straight, with anger written on his face. Who are you? Why are you in mom's sleeves? Tian Wenjing poked his head out of his sleeves, revealing his true face, with a hint of joking in his deep laughter. Hey, of course I am my mother's child, who else could I be? When Heiju saw Tian Wenjing who was exactly the same as himself, it was like five thunders struck him, another me. No. How could there be another me? He is the incarnation of my mother's will, unique. This guy in front of me must be a fake. My mother has been sealed away for many years and is ignorant of the world. He must have deceived her. Thinking of this, Heiju was furious. You despicable fake, get out and die. Afterwards, Black Zetsu shouted to Kegaya eagerly, Mom, I am your child, that one is fake. 
Before Kegaya could speak, Tian Wenjing answered with a playful smile. Fake. Look at yourself in the mirror, right? This guy is mine. You have no love or affection for me. Heiju was so angry that he was shaking all over. You. Who said I don't have a mother? Before he finished speaking, he turned into a black shadow and pounced towards Tian Wenjing, ready for a showdown. However, Heiju's figure was caught by a gentle hand in midair. It was Kegaya. She glanced at Tian Wenjing helplessly and said, stop teasing him. No matter what, he is also my child. You should be friendly to each other. Don't fight like your two older brothers, Hagoromo and Hamura. Come over here. Kegaya smiled gently and showed Heizetsu her other empty sleeve. Mother. Heiju was so moved that he almost cried. As expected, my mother loves me the most. He got into his sleeves with excitement. At that moment, an unprecedented sense of peace came to my heart, as if I had finally found my destination after thousands of years of wandering. On the other side of the sleeve, Tian Wenjing showed a proud smile, showing off in front of his former self. It was really a pleasure. Mom, what's going on? Why is there a guy who looks exactly like me? Heiju did not immerse himself in comfort for too long. This, fake, of unknown origin in front of him was the mystery he was eager to solve. Having said that, the matter is actually quite simple. Come on, let me explain it to you in detail. Suddenly, a voice sounded in his ears. Heiju turned around and saw a human child sitting there. He had noticed this little guy a long time ago, but he was so excited when he first met his mother that he didn't pay attention at all. At this moment, I saw, hey, the boy is actually sitting next to his mother in a grand manner. Black Ju was so shocked that his eyes almost fell out. Who are you? You are so courageous, you dare to be on an equal footing with your mother. I have never enjoyed this kind of treatment. You are. Heiju's voice was somewhat solemn. Being able to sit side by side with his mother, and her mother didn't have any objections, this person must have a lot of skills, and Heiju felt that he couldn't attach too much importance to him. Shinomiya Yuzuki said with a smile, just call me Shinomiya Yuzuki. Have you ever heard of different time and space? Another time and space, Heiju thought for a while. Is it like the legend of Dragon Vein? I heard that the ancient Lulin country has a Dragon Vein device that can lead to other worlds. Almost, they come from another world, but my method is a little bit better than Dragon Vein. Yu Yu made a gesture of holding the universe. In contrast, Dragon Vein's method, which cannot interfere with the original historical process too much after traveling through time, doesn't matter to me. So, if you two Black Ju can meet, it won't destroy time and space. Black Zetsu suddenly realized it and looked at Kegaya. No wonder I can sense that my mother is still in the seal. Another mother has appeared here. Yu Yu asked Heiju with a smile. Then what do you think now? He was very curious, after learning the truth, whether Black Zetsu would continue to coax the masked man to collect tailed beasts, or whether he would simply give up Kegaya in the sky and embrace the mother in front of him. Heiju looked extremely excited and asked Tian Wenjing, now that my mother is here, in your world, my plan should be successful, right? Tian Wenjing chuckled and said, of course. After receiving confirmation, Heiju answered Yu Yu's question. Master Yu Yu, my plan is to continue to promote the Eye of the Moon project until I rescue the mother in our world. But for now, Heiju rubbed into Kegaya's sleeve and found a comfortable position to nestle in. Let me rest for a few days first. No matter which mother is, it is my mother. I just want to stay with my mother now. Kegaya patted Heizetsu's head dotingly. Among the three children, Heizetsu was the most considerate. Yu Yu was a little surprised. He originally thought that Black Zetsu would ask Kegaya or himself for help. Unexpectedly, Black Zetsu still wanted to save Kegaya by himself. He is such a stubborn guy. Because of this, he has wandered alone in the ninja world for thousands of years without forgetting his original intention. Is everything okay over there with the masked man? Yu Yu asked. After being stimulated, that guy planned to speed up the progress of capturing the tailed beasts. He recently set up a base in Sunagakar village. But the fourth generation case cage Rasa is not easy to deal with. The hidden sand village is his home court. Once a huge sea of golden sand rises, the masked man will have to stay away. He doesn't dare to act rashly in a short period of time. He has to find a foolproof opportunity. 
Speaking of this, Black Zetsu suddenly remembered something. By the way, last time the masked man came back from Konoha, he was completely wilted. Did he meet you? Although he doesn't understand Yuyu's strength, his mother's attitude speaks volumes, this guy is not simple. When the masked man bumped into Yuyu, it can only be said that he was unlucky. Yuyu couldn't help laughing, that's pretty much it. Although he didn't take action personally, the brothers Obito and Kakashi, who were twin Kamui, did make the other party suffer a lot. Unfortunately, this kid Kakashi was sent a message by the masked man and used a Zanagi to make a beautiful counterattack. Not only was he seriously injured, but he also had his Sharingan taken away. It's getting late, it's time to consider arranging a place for you to stay. Yuyu slowly stood up, turned to Kegaya, and asked softly. Do you want to live with me, or do you want a separate place? Of course with you. Kegaya replied without hesitation. As soon as he said this, Heiju and Tian Wenjing exchanged glances, with intriguing expressions on their faces. They are not as innocent as Kegaya. According to human terms, this is not living together. If it is between a man and a woman, generally only those with a good relationship will do this. Sigh. I'm afraid my mother will become someone else's daughter-in-law. But this is a good thing, at least Yuyu is ridiculously strong, and her mother won't have to worry about threats from beyond the stars in the future. If nothing else, at least his time and space skills are unrivaled in the entire ninja world. You can go to other time and space at will, and you can also bring people back, which is simply unheard of. Then I'll go and tidy up the room first, and you can stay here. Okay. In the following days, the sky in the ninja world was exceptionally quiet, with no wind or waves. But Konoha village seemed lively. First, Obito and Nohara Rin returned to their time yesterday. Kakashi is recovering well in the hospital and does not require additional care. In addition, they are full of fun and set out on their way home. Besides, Obito also has his own mission to complete. The third ninja war has not yet ended, and he plans to establish Konoha's dominance in one fell swoop when he returns to Canopy Bridge. Defeat other ninja villages. The other ninja villages in Obito's time and space would probably be in bad luck. An eternal eye Kamui Obito, plus he also took a truth-seeking ball from Six Paths Obito, even if Madara came back to life, he couldn't stop him. God's will is like this, no matter what, the enjoyment is over. In addition, due to Namikaze Minato's appearance in Konoha, the prestige accumulated over the years was once again ignited. When it was confirmed that he was indeed Namikaze Minato himself, the enthusiasm of the villagers was unprecedentedly high. There was an outpouring of unanimous requests for him to continue as Hokage. Amid everyone's eager expectations, Namikaze Minato finally took over the important task of the fourth Hokage, while Serutobi Hirazan once again retreated to the background. Yes, he became the fourth Hokage again, this scene is quite dramatic. Before that, Minato asked Yuyu privately whether he should refuse this important task. Yuyu felt a little funny after hearing this, but still persuaded him to accept the position of Hokage and responded to everyone's enthusiastic expectations. Yuzuki assured him that this was only temporary help and that he would resurrect Namikaze Minato in this time and space as soon as possible, and then he would naturally take over. With Yu Yu's promise, Minato no longer had any worries and readily agreed. After all, this was not difficult for him. As for the people of Konoha, although they were confused as to why Namikaze Minato had been missing for many years, Minato did not reveal the truth. But no matter what, as long as he is Namikaze Minato, he is enough to become the Hokage of Konoha, and everyone is convinced. After this incident, Naruto's status in the village reached an unparalleled height overnight. Son of the Hokage. The real prince. However, Naruto did not alienate his old friends, Shikamaru, Choji, Sakura, Hinata, Sasuke, etc., and he still got along with them. During this period of time, Yuyu was not idle. In addition to hanging out in the group regularly, she devoted a lot of time to the study of dust style. He has not yet fully explored the potential of dust style. During this time, he combined sage jutsu to create a new skill that is quite powerful. He named this move, Eight Point Light Wheel, which can be regarded as a tribute to a certain classic series. The results were fruitful. Kegaya on the other side didn't like to go out. 
She just sat in front of the window every day, looked at the scenery, and listened to the children talking about the changes in the ninja world over the past thousands of years. As for Ino, she has to train with Lao Ma every day and complete some small tasks, so she rarely has time to visit. As a result, the door of Yu Yu's house has not been opened for several days. Until today. Crunch. Shinomiya Yu Yu gently opened the door of her home. Outside the door was a bright sunshine, covering the earth with warmth. It was a good time to go out. It's such a nice weather. Yu Yu raised her face and let the sun fully embrace her. Since mastering the wood style, he is like a plant. He always feels like something is missing if he is not exposed to the sun every day. He is almost turning into a real, sun-loving creature. Kegaya, taking advantage of the great weather today, do you want to go for a stroll in Konoha village? Yu Yu turned around and suggested to Kegaya in the room. Kegaya seemed a little hesitant. Would it scare the villagers if I go out like this? Better say goodbye. She knew that her appearance, which was very different from ordinary people, could easily attract people's attention. Mom, don't think so. Being able to see you in person is a fate that has been cultivated for many lifetimes for those mortals. Heiju said comfortingly. That's right, that's right, you are the ancestor of the ninja world, and the goddess of Mao has come to the world. If they knew, they would all rush to kneel down to worship you. Tian Wenjing also agreed. Yu Yu looked at Kegaya and suggested, how about you tidy up your hair a little? Kegaya's long hair was astonishingly long, dozens of meters long. It was spread all over the room, and when piled up, it was more than one meter high. After listening to Yu Yu's words, her hair quickly converged, and in the blink of an eye her floor-length hair was shortened to her waist, just right. Yu Yu looked at it carefully and nodded with satisfaction. Well, that's much better. It looks like ordinary people. Today's Kegaya has nothing weird except for her slightly tall figure, unusually fair complexion, and the double horns on her head. The third eye on her forehead also closed due to the loss of Tentail's power, making her look closer to a human. Is this really okay? Trust me, let's go. Yu Yu smiled slightly and took the lead in crossing the threshold. Kegaya looked at his back, thought for a moment, and then followed him. On the streets of Konoha village, Yuzuki and Kegaya walked side by side, attracting countless curious eyes wherever they went. Most of these eyes focused on Kegaya's unique and beautiful appearance. Among the many gazes, curiosity accounted for the majority, and few showed disgust or rejection. After all, beauty is a passport across races. Good-looking people are always more likely to receive more kindness than direct prejudice. At this time, people's whispers came from the side. Yu Yu heard it and couldn't help but raise the corners of her mouth. This girl is so tall. I don't know what she ate to grow up. If I give my kids some, they might be able to grow taller. A man passed by Kegaya and was amazed. Hey, why does she still have horns? Her skin is so white, she couldn't be suffering from some strange disease, right? Ha ha, look at your unusual and weird appearance. I think you may be a cosplayer. Don't all the children nowadays like this? Oh, that's it. Kegaya also heard these discussions, and when she realized that no one had any malicious intentions, a big stone fell quietly in her heart. She didn't care what others said, she was just worried that it would bring unnecessary trouble to Yu Yu. Want to try this? Yu Yu handed her a bowl full of various snacks, including meatballs, bean curd skewers, and barbecue. Kegaya tasted a few mouthfuls out of curiosity, then nodded slightly, it tastes really good. It's all for you. Yu Yu smiled and stuffed the whole bowl of snacks directly into Kegaya's hands. Let's go over there and have a look. Kegaya took the snack and tasted a few mouthfuls for herself. After thinking about it, she quietly put it into her wide sleeve and gave it to the children to have a taste. The two of them continued walking, and when they turned a corner, Yu Yu's eyes suddenly lit up. Huh, it's them. Not far away, Naruto, Sasuke and Sakura were walking towards this direction. They looked around in front of the stall, seeming to be hesitant about what food to choose. Well, I think Mr. Kakashi will definitely like this, so buy some. Naruto stared at the shop smelling of red beans without blinking. Today is the big day for Mr. Kakashi to be discharged from the hospital. As a disciple and the culprit, it is a necessary ceremony to go to the hospital to greet him. 
However, it doesn't make sense to go empty-handed, so they are thinking about what gifts to bring. I think you're greedy. Sasuke put one hand in his pocket and put the other hand unconsciously on the hilt of the Kusanagi sword at his waist. He has long been accustomed to this posture and it is difficult to change it. Although the Kusanagi sword was an imitation, it was carefully crafted by top craftsmen in Konoha who spared no expense. Embedded with a unique metal, Chakra has good conductivity. Although it is not as good as the real Kusanagi sword, it can still be used in emergencies. Looking at Naruto, Sasuke looked slightly helpless. Besides ramen, Naruto also has a special liking for red bean soup, which Sasuke naturally knows. Hee <laughs> hee. Naruto scratched his head in embarrassment. Don't look at me. If you want to eat, go buy it. Sasuke unconsciously touched his pocket, and a wad of money appeared in his hand. As Uchiha's only heir, Sasuke is never short of money. He has borne all the training expenses these days by himself. Including everyone's food, training equipment and other expenses. Hee <laughs> hee, thank you very much. But I have plenty of money now, so it will be my turn to treat you next time. Naruto shook his bulging little wallet, which was full of banknotes that his mother had specially prepared for him before he went out. How can you go out without bringing some pocket money? Sasuke raised his eyebrows and almost forgot about this guy's recently updated background. He was the son of the Hokage. Besides, his parents were back again. Now Naruto was not short of money. Boss, here are four servings of red bean soup. Naruto walked to the stall counted out enough money and handed it to the boss. The boss packed the red bean soup quickly and handed it to Naruto. Let's keep walking, but just drinking red bean soup is not enough. We have to buy some other food. As the three of them walked, they discussed what kind of staple food to add. Suddenly, Naruto's eyes lit up, and he saw Shinomiya Yuyu in front of him. Hey, Sasuke, Sakura, it's Yuzuki. I haven't seen you for a few days. Naruto said excitedly pointing forward. Immediately, he waved hello to Yuyu. Yuyu. Yuyu over there had obviously noticed them, smiling and nodding to Naruto. At this time, Naruto felt strange, why didn't Sasuke come over to say hello? Sasuke. Why don't you speak? Naruto took a look and found that Sasuke was looking in the direction of Yuyu with white eyes, a mixture of disbelief and horror on his face, as if he had seen a ghost. Sasuke, what's wrong? Naruto followed Sasuke's gaze with confusion on his face. Sasuke's eyes were not on Yuyu, but on a tall elder sister beside him. Huh. This big sister is so tall, but even so, Sasuke won't be so scared, right? Sasuke had no time to pay attention to Naruto and stared at Kegaya. Otsutsuki Kegaya. Sasuke gritted his teeth and said the name word by word. His fingers clenched the hilt of the Kusanagi sword uncontrollably, but this did not bring him much comfort. What's going on? Why does Otsutsuki Kegaya appear here? What's worse now is that neither he nor Naruto were in their prime, nor did they have the yin and yang power given by Sage of Six Paths. How to fight against this ancestor of the ninja world? Seeing that Sasuke never spoke, but stared at Kegaya with a twisted face, the doubts on Naruto's face almost overflowed. Sasuke. What's wrong with you? Naruto, leave quickly. Leave now. Sasuke suddenly grabbed Naruto and Sakura's hands and turned around to escape from this place. Why? Naruto and Sakura both looked confused. Sasuke. Just as Naruto was about to ask why, the voice of nine tails inside his body suddenly sounded in panic, also warning him. Naruto, don't worry about so much, it's better to retreat first. That woman is too dangerous. In the sealed space, Ninetales' hair almost stood up, staring at Otsutsuki Kegaya with fear on his face. Now, things are getting really big. We have to find 4th Hokage, Namikaze Minato quickly. Kurama never thought that one day he would be so eager to see Minato. Huh. Why did you run away suddenly? Shinomiya Yuzuki looked at Naruto and Sasuke's retreating figures with blank eyes. Maybe it's because of me. Kegaya chuckled. It seemed that Asura and Indra in this time and space knew something. Yuyu held her forehead and was speechless. The truth came out. It turned out that she was scared by Kegaya. Sasuke and Kurama were both reborn and experienced the battle with Kegaya, but he actually ignored it. Haha, these two guys. I have to explain to them. 
Yu Yu shook her head and laughed. As soon as he stepped out, dust style turned into brilliance and wrapped around his feet. In a flash of white light, he crossed a distance of dozens of meters in an instant. With another step down, Yu Yu was already standing in front of Naruto and Sasuke's escape route. Wait a minute, don't rush to escape yet. Shinomiya Yuzuki. When Sasuke and his group saw this, they immediately stopped. Sasuke quietly turned around and saw that Kegaya was not chasing after him. He breathed a sigh of relief and then turned his eyes to Shinomiya Yuzuki. That Otsutsuki Kegaya is also your masterpiece. With suspicion in Sasuke's eyes, he recalled the previous Senju Hashirama, Tobarama, and those who did not belong to this era. It was hard for him not to be suspicious of Yu Yu. Yes, it's me. Yu Yu admitted with a smile. Hiss, you'd better get rid of her. Sasuke had a headache, and his tone revealed helplessness, she is different from the first generation. She is hostile to us, especially me and Naruto. At this time, a small Kurama appeared above Naruto's head. He followed Sasuke's words and nodded frequently. Indeed, that guy can't let Naruto go, and he won't let me go either. Although it is unclear how Kegaya appeared, if she wants to regain her power, she must gather all the tailed beasts. When Kurama saw her, he was naturally more nervous than anyone else. Hey, Sasuke, Kurama, what on earth are you talking about? Sasuke and Ninetales kept talking to each other, which only made Naruto who was still confused about the situation even more confused. It's hard to say, but it's better to run first. Kurama patted Naruto's head and urged anxiously. But at this moment, a door to a deep space opened out of thin air behind Naruto, which was Kegaya's horizon. Otsutsuki Kegaya's figure slowly walked out of the door. Her eyes immediately locked onto Naruto and she reached out to him without hesitation. Seeing this, Sasuke's eyes suddenly tightened and he shouted quickly, Naruto. Watch out behind you. The little nine tails was so scared that he froze in place, looking as cute as a frozen plush toy. Why? Naruto turned around in surprise and was met by that big hand as white as jade. Before he could react, the palm of his hand gently brushed Naruto's cheek. Hagoromo's child. Kegaya smiled softly, her eyes filled with love. Naruto felt the delicate and warm palms on his face and blinked his big eyes, as if he had regained the feeling of his mother's touch. This mysterious big sister is so gentle. Sasuke was stunned when he saw this scene. Is it as simple as just touching your head? Shouldn't it be a palm strike with the 80 gods air strike, turning Naruto into Naruto-chan, and then grabbing the nine tails and refining him instantly? He turned to look at Yuyu, his eyes full of seeking solutions. Yu Yu spread her hands and winked, which means, you can experience it yourself. Naruto, are you feeling uncomfortable? She didn't do anything to you, right? Sasuke's eyes were full of doubts. Uncomfortable? No. Besides, why do you think this big sister will hurt me? Naruto's face was full of confusion. The Kegaya he felt was not malicious at all, but was like warm sunshine. Hearing Naruto's answer, Sasuke secretly breathed a sigh of relief. Not even reacting to Naruto's malicious perception, it seemed that Kegaya had no intention of harming them. Hey, can you give me a warning before doing something big next time? Sasuke gave Yu Yu a resentful look. What happened today almost scared him to the point where Sharingan evolved into the Samsara Eye. Yu Yu raised her eyebrows and smiled. I was just about to explain, but you took them and disappeared in a swish. So, it's my fault. Sasuke raised an eyebrow and countered. It's okay if you insist on understanding it this way. Yu Yu said in a serious manner. Hey, I'm too lazy to reason with you. You don't deserve to listen. Sasuke rolled his eyes, put his pockets in his pockets, and turned to leave. Don't forget to call Naruto and Sakura. Naruto, Sakura, let's go, Kakashi is still waiting for us. Oh, it's coming. Naruto responded, turned to Kegaya and smiled. Sister, I have to go. Come to my house for a meal next time you have time. Kegaya smiled and nodded, waving for him to leave. Go, kid. Yu Yu, I'm leaving first. Naruto said goodbye again and immediately caught up with Sasuke. After staying away from Kegaya, the mini nine tails on Naruto's head came back to consciousness from its, plush toy, state. It looked back from time to time, appearing to be frightened, and complained endlessly to Naruto. It was just horrible. 
Just being near her was a huge feeling of oppression. Naruto picked up the little nine tails, looked at it and said. Kurama, you are so cute in your little face. Quote dot dot dot. I'm telling you about Kagaya, but you're commenting on whether I'm cute or not. But you are really cute. Put me down quickly, you rude fellow. Watching the three people's backs gradually disappear, Yu Yu chuckled, adjusted the direction, and continued their shopping trip with Kagaya. Hokage office. Nara knocked on the door gently and then walked in, his arms full of documents. Since Namikaze Minato once again sat on the throne of Hokage, Shikaku, as an old friend and right-hand man, has naturally returned, shouldering the responsibility together. As soon as he stepped into the threshold, Shikaku saw Minato sitting behind the table, reading books intently, and he couldn't help but sigh in his heart. Minato's speed in processing official documents was astonishing. He had already finished the large stack that had just been delivered in the morning. If it were Serutobi Hirazan from the third generation, it would probably take a whole day. Minato, your efficiency is too high, these are all backlogged before, and this is the last pile. Shikaku said while putting the documents on the table. Minato closed the book and raised a gentle smile. Thank you for your hard work, Shikaku. Lu Ju waved his hands, pretending to be relaxed. No way, my job is quite leisurely. Don't say that. You are Hokage's right-hand man. Every step you take is related to the future of Konoha. It carries a lot of weight. Haha, ha, you are the only one who thinks highly of me, Minato. Shikaku sat next to Minato and looked at his side face, already beginning to yearn for the growing prosperity of Konoha under his leadership. But at this moment, Minato's hand processing the document suddenly stopped, and this subtle change immediately attracted Shikaku's attention. Minato, is there a problem with the file? Minato put down his pen and shook his head. It's nothing, I just have something urgent and need to go out for a while, so I will leave this place to you for the time being, Shikaku. Minato's eyes glanced at the corner of the room, where a little toad just looked over and then quickly retracted. I'll be back soon. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye on this place. Lu Ju nodded. Minato responded, and in an instant, the flying thunder god technique was activated, and the figure disappeared into the office in the blink of an eye. Top of Hokage Rock. The place is empty and lonely, with few people on weekdays, and it exudes an aura of peace and tranquility. At this moment, an imperceptible golden light flashed, and then, Namikaze Minato's figure suddenly appeared here. After Minato appeared, he didn't do anything else but found a conspicuous place to stand and wait for good news. About a few minutes later, this lonely place welcomed an uninvited guest. A little toad was jumping on the dry ground, looking weak. Not long after, the little toad quietly approached behind Minato, but Minato didn't seem to notice the existence of this little life, and still looked firmly forward. Just then, something unexpected happened. From the suddenly elongated shadow under the little toad, a tall and muscular figure suddenly rushed out without any hesitation. A heavy punch came straight towards Minato. Minato seemed to be unaware of it, and was about to be hit. It was a critical moment. With a whooshing sound, Minato's figure flashed away in an instant. The attacker was stunned for a moment, rolled his eyes, and immediately realized the situation. He decisively gathered a Rasengan in his palm and slammed it backwards. At this moment, another Rasengan hit the target and collided hard with the attacker's ball. The two Rasengan collided fiercely, the air was torn apart, and they let out a sharp roar. Bang! Rasengan's accumulated power reached its limit and suddenly exploded. The two quickly pushed Rasengan out, fearing that the power would come back to bite them. Even so, the aftermath of the explosion still knocked them over. As Minato was flying upside down, he conveniently rescued the little toad on the ground to prevent it from being implicated. Rolling dust rose into the sky, covering the sky and the sun. Namikaze Minato steadied his body, placed the little toad on his shoulder, and looked at the dust mist with a smile, with a hint of ridicule in his tone. Jiraiya Sensei, my reaction is quite sensitive, right? Ha ha ha. Hearty laughter sounded in the dust, the air shook, and the smoke dispersed, revealing the true appearance of the visitor. He has a tall body, a forehead protector with the word, oil, engraved on his forehead, long silver white hair hanging down to his waist, with eye-catching red marks under his eyes, wearing a red coat, lined with a brown shirt, 
wearing wooden clogs on his feet, and wearing them with both hands. He was wearing a ninja tool and a huge scroll on his back. It is none other than one of the legendary Sanin, the hero Jiraiya. We haven't seen each other for many years, and I can't help but want to test you. Do you mind? Jiraiya pretended to be serious and smiled, scratching his head as he spoke. As the words fell, the strange makeup on his face gradually faded away. Minato smiled brightly. How can you, Mr. Jiraiya? On the surface, he seemed relaxed and at ease, but in his heart he was secretly impressed by the teacher's meticulousness. Mr. Jiraiya is still the same as before, he seems careless on the surface, but in fact he is very thoughtful and resourceful. The test attack just now was an understatement on the surface. In fact, Jiraiya had already secretly prepared to enter Sage Mode. Once he realized that the Namikaze Minato in front of him was an imposter, he would be greeted by a devastating Sage Jutsu attack. As a disciple of Jiraiya for many years, Minato knew his character well, so he showed off his two unique skills of Flying Thunder God and Rasengan as soon as they met. These two skills have almost become synonymous with Namikaze Minato, and no one else can use them except himself. As a result, Jiraiya completely let down his guard. It's rare for master and disciple to get together, so the two naturally don't choose to reminisce about the past in a desolate place. Jiraiya leads Minato to a secret tavern. The two sat opposite each other and talked freely in this private space. Jiraiya poured a full cup of wine for each of them, and then drank it all with a look of enjoyment on his face. You, or not Minato, are you? After pondering for a moment, Jiraiya said something shocking and stared at, Namikaze Minato, opposite with a smile. Minato didn't panic at all, but his admiration was beyond words. As expected of Mr. Jiraiya, you have seen all this. Jiraiya said with great satisfaction, Ha ha, of course, you are my disciple after all. If you don't have this bit of vision, wouldn't my job as a teacher be in vain? However, when he said this, Jiraiya's eyes couldn't help but burst into tears. If this is the case, then he is really gone. Well, before I returned to Konoha, I still harbored fantasies, thinking that he might not have died back then, but was just seriously injured and recuperating to this day. Until I met you, all my fantasies came to nothing. Jiraiya Sensei. Minato couldn't find the right words to comfort him at the moment, so he could only silently fill up the wine for him. Without saying a word, Jiraiya raised his glass again and drank it all as if this could dilute the sadness in his heart. Okay, don't mention that, Minato, tell me about yourself. Jiraiya's eyes were bright and focused on him. Although he said that the Minato in front of him was not the disciple in his memory, he did not deny that this was Minato Namikaze himself. Minato smiled slightly, Teacher, didn't you just say that I'm not that, Minato? Jiraiya waved his hands and said calmly. Well, you are Minato, and you are not the Minato I know. To be more precise, it's not the Minato I remember, but as a teacher, my intuition tells me that there is a lot to it. So that's it. Teacher, have you ever heard of the concept of different time and space? Minato pondered for a moment and asked this question. As soon as he heard the words, different time and space, Jiraiya suddenly understood and was surprised. You mean, that's right. Minato nodded, and then took a moment to briefly introduce his origins. He confessed that he was not the Namikaze Minato of this time and space. After learning the truth, Jiraiya was filled with emotions. There is such an incredible secret hidden in the ninja world. No wonder, no wonder, I thought there was some new secret technique in the ninja world that could copy people exactly as they were. I didn't expect that the truth would be so unusual. Minato smiled and said nothing, listening patiently to Jiraiya's emotion. Suddenly, Jiraiya asked eagerly. Minato, what year is it in your place? Konoha 48, is there any problem, sensei? Minato said honestly. Minato, if you can come, you should be able to go back, right? Jiraiya looked a little anxious. Sure. After getting the affirmative answer, Jiraiya grabbed Minato's arm suddenly and said firmly. Minato, be sure to take me with you when you go back. I will never be absent from this battle again. Jiraiya sensei. Minato felt a warm current in his heart. He even felt Jiraiya's hands trembling slightly. Obviously, Jiraiya was always worried about his failure to appear in time for Ninetales Night. But it was not his fault. 
At that time, he was chasing Warochimaru everywhere, and the sudden attack by the masked man was unpredictable. Minato patted his hand, smiled and comforted. Teacher, don't worry, I have made preparations and will not let such a tragedy happen again. Hearing Minato's confident answer, Jiraiya nodded. With Minato's wisdom and the intelligence he had mastered in advance, the balance of victory was clearly leaning towards his side. But he still did not forget to tell me, if you need help with anything, just let me know. Don't worry, Jiraiya-sensei, I can do it. Haha, ha, that's good. Then I can rest assured. Come on, we won't go home until we get drunk today. Jiraiya's hearty laughter was full of pride. Minato didn't want to let down Jiraiya's kindness, so he accompanied him one drink after another until the night got dark. And at this moment, in Hokage's office, Nara's head was trembling when he faced the mountains of documents on the table. Why is it that Minato can always handle these complicated matters with ease, but he has to think over and over again to avoid making mistakes? Minato didn't say he would go out and come back soon. Why haven't you come back yet? Nara thought hard for a long time. Did he hear it wrong at that time? Minato actually said yes, come back tomorrow. It's really cool to be treated as a foreigner. You don't have to get up early in the morning to train with your mentors and high-level ninjas or run around to perform tasks. Yu Yu slept until the sun was shining on her buttocks. It wasn't until the news that popped up in the group shocked him that he was brought back to reality from his dreamland. I was summoned. Yu Yu was agitated, no sleepiness at all, and quickly entered the chat interface with her fingers. Senju Hashirama, at Sigong Yu Yu, Yu Yu, there is new news over at Madara. Uchiha Madara, what's new? What's going on? Why don't I know about it? Senju Hashirama, well, I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about Madara in our world. Uchiha Madara, okay, Hashirama, come and sit with me when you have time. I have rebuilt the ninja world. If you come here, I will surprise you. Senju Hashirama. Haha, ha, I will, I will go there when I have time. Shinomiya Yuzuki. If you have any good things to call me, Hashirama, please share them. Senju Hashirama. You you, you're here just in time. Here's the thing. Madara sent me news this morning, saying that the black Zetsu guy finally showed up. Not long ago, Madara learned the sealing techniques of the Uzumaki clan from the land of Uzumaki, and then deliberately showed up in the ninja world, only to find that a shadow was quietly following him. It's almost like he is that guy from Black Zetsu. Madara plans to use the four elephant seal to lock up Black Zetsu forever. Once this move is used, the sealed person will never be able to stand up again. There is no way out. Madara's idea is that without Black Zetsu, Kegaya will never come out again. Killing two birds with one stone, the hidden danger will be completely eliminated. Shinomiya Yuzuki. The plan sounds good, what do you think? Senju Hashirama. Well, I'm actually a little reluctant to give up. I remember you said before that the reason why Kegaya did that was to fight against other Otsutsuki clan members in the future. But the target of those aliens is not just Kegaya, they want the sacred tree. The sacred tree will drain the energy of the entire planet. Wouldn't it be miserable for us residents of the ninja world? In this case, Kegaya's purpose is consistent with ours. If we block her, we will lose a fighting force. So I really want to hear your opinion, Yu Yu, whether to keep her as an ally to fight the aliens together, or to seal her away completely. Shinomiya Yuzuki, haha, Hashirama, you already have an idea in mind, you just ask me to ask me to nod in agreement, right? Senju Hashirama. Hey. I really can't hide it from you. That's really what happened. Shinomiya Yuzuki. This is an unclear choice. If you ask me that, of course I would say keep Kegaya and get high level combat power for free. What a good thing. Senju Hashirama. Okay, then I'll reply to Madara. Yu Yu pursed her lips and smiled, who said Hashirama was stupid. This guy is very smart. He had already made up his mind but he still went through the motions in the group to ask Yu Yu. This means that as the leader of the group, Yu Yu needs to be consulted on big and small matters. In fact, it means respecting him as a core figure. In fact, there is no need for this. Yu Yu never regards her friends in the group as subordinates, but as her best buddies. Among friends, there is no need to pay attention to what should be reported or not. Six Paths Obito, at Uchiha Obito, 
when will my truth-seeking ball be returned to me? It takes a long time for this thing to coalesce. Uchiha Obito. What? You still want to pay it back? Didn't I get the photo in exchange for it? Six paths Obito. You exchanged the reward you promised me in advance for my things. Who taught you to settle accounts like this? Uchiha Obito. Oh, who among us is following who? Anyway, you can still gather yourself, so just give this one to me. I didn't want to take it at first. I forgot to turn off the automatic pickup. Six paths Obito. Konoha year two. Chu M I. Black Zetsu felt like he had never run so fast in his life. Be brave my friend. What should I do if I get bombarded by Uchiha Madara in a Suzano? Waiting online, quite urgent. Bang bang bang. The giant Suzano spread its wings and cut through the sky, holding a giant blade. The mountain peaks were split like pieces of paper in front of it, and the earth cracked under its feet. One knife after another, they hit the ground hard, and the loud roar echoed throughout the world. Uchiha Madara stood in the space on Suzano's forehead, with angry eyes that seemed to penetrate everything and reach people's hearts. He drove Suzano to pursue Black Zetsu like crazy. Madara-sama. What are you doing? I am the embodiment of your will. On the ground, Heiju was so frightened that he screamed repeatedly. A shining golden chain was wrapped around his body, and the other end was directly connected to Suzano in the sky. This prevented him from using the mayfly technique to escape deep underground. He could only squirm thinly on the surface, and he could not escape Madara's attack no matter what. Madara remained silent, holding the scroll in hand, silently maintaining the ceiling technique's King Kong blockade, gradually reducing the distance with Black Zetsu. This thing was obtained from the Patriarch of the Whirlpool Kingdom, and is a disposable item. If it weren't for the fact that non-Vortex Clan Blood couldn't learn this technique, he would have been tempted by it, it was so useful. Ten minutes ago, on a small island not far from the Kingdom of Whirlpool, Black Zetsu, the most famous, filial son, in the ninja world, slowly emerged from the soil. This is where Madara last appeared. Black Zetsu looked around and muttered to himself. He had been waiting for this moment since he had tampered with the Uchiha clan's stone tablet. He knew that once Madara saw the stone tablet, she would part ways with Konoha and embark on the path of the Eye of the Moon plan. So he waited patiently for Madara and planned to give him some ideological education. He was very familiar with this kind of work. This was how he persuaded Indra in the first place, which eventually led to the two brothers turning against each other and never communicating with each other until death. It's a pity that Indra was a poor boy, and he was unable to open the eye of reincarnation until his death. At that time, he still didn't understand that the prerequisite for the appearance of the samsara eye was the fusion of the powers of both parties, so he was busy in vain. Black Zetsu took action immediately and began searching for traces of Madara on the island. Only the combination of the power of Asura and Indra can give birth to the Samsara Eye. With the Samsara Eye, the Ghetto Statue can be summoned. With the Ghetto Statue, the Tailed Beasts can be reunited and Ten Tails can be resurrected. We must quickly let Madara go to Senju Hashirama to fight and seize the opponent's chakra. Soon, he finally discovered Madara's whereabouts. Madara is sitting in a cave, closing her eyes and meditating. Heiju cautiously stuck his head out and observed secretly, something feels wrong. His eyes flickered with doubt. There is nothing wrong with the surrounding environment, but Madara is sitting like this, looking like she is waiting for someone. Who can we wait for in this wilderness? He couldn't explain why, but Heiju had this premonition. Forget it, let's wait and see. Heiju thought about it for a while and decided to be on the safe side and observe it for a while before talking. After all, there is no need for him to gamble. He has plenty of time and the right time will always appear over the long years. Just as he was thinking about it, Heiju slowly sneaked underground and planned to leave. But at this moment, there was sudden movement in Madara in the cave. Madara, who had been sitting quietly, suddenly took out a kanai. Black Ju was startled, kanai. Would a big shot like Uchiha Madara carry around such a gadget? Besides, why does he need a kanai? To be honest, for a strong person like Madara, just blowing a breath is more powerful than that kanai. He really can't guess what Madara is doing with this thing. But then, Heiju understood. Madara stabbed the kanai towards her chest without hesitation. PFF. Blood splattered everywhere. 
Exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark. Hey Jew's expression changed drastically. This guy Madara is harming himself. No, 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 you just had some minor friction with Senju Pillar. As for ending it yourself. At this moment, Heiju had no time to think too much, no matter what the reason for Madara's self-harm. He must stop them all. He has waited for thousands of years to find someone like Madara. This is the closest he has come to the Eye of Reincarnation. He must not let anything happen to Madara. On the other side, Madara showed no expression as she stabbed the kanai into her chest ruthlessly. Several times in a row, her chest was already bloody and bloody. Madara was sweating profusely in pain, but she didn't even let out a scream. In order to force out the insidious black Jew, he had already risked his life. After reviewing the memories left by Hashirama, he clearly realized that this black Zetsu was so cunning. In its original history, it had been hiding in the dark until the moment he awakened the samsara eye. He wasn't sure whether Heiju would come to his door right now, but he didn't have the patience to wait, and couldn't wait to solve this serious problem as soon as possible. If this is the case, then simply do the opposite. Didn't Hei pin his hopes on him to give birth to the samsara eye? Well, then he would kill himself. Let's see if you, Highway, can't come out. Stabbing herself cruelly again, Madara's fire of life was almost extinguished and her consciousness began to blur. Aren't you showing up yet? Madara glanced around secretly. It looks like we need to be a little more ruthless. Madara raised the kanai to his throat, and the force of it was enough to cut off his own neck. At the same time, Madara is ready to sacrifice an eye to activate a zanagi to deflect damage. The premise is that black will never appear. But just when he was about to take action, his arm froze in midair, and a black shadow rose from the ground, silently wrapping around Madara's body and controlling his movements. Not only that, a warm power flowed through, using the power of Yang style to repair the wounds on his body. Finally here, an imperceptible hint of joy flashed across Madara's eyes. Take in the bait. Master Madara, what do you mean? Heiju's deep voice sounded. Madara struggled a few times symbolically, pretending to be surprised and said, What the hell? Get away from me. Master Madara, there is no need to panic. I am the embodiment of your will. In other words, I am you. My will manifested. Madara sneered inwardly. On the surface, he still pretended to be confused, after all, he still had to rely on Heiju to repair his body at this moment. Let's delay for a while first. Why did I never know of your existence? Madara asked. Master Madara, I was born a long time ago. It was your extremely powerful will that gave birth to me. It's just that you are invincible and invincible throughout your life, and there is no need for me to appear, so I have always hidden behind the scenes. But this time you are facing a life and death crisis, so naturally I can't just sit back and ignore it. Heiju spoke eloquently, and at the same time, he patted Madara's calmly. If it were the previous Madara, he might have been fooled, but in front of him now was an Uchiha Madara who had read the script a long time ago. Such nonsense is simply an insult to his intelligence. Also, he can talk nonsense like being invincible, but he has never defeated Hashirama once. However, Madara did not expose it immediately, but whispered, is that so? Seeing that Madara seemed to believe him, Heiju further induced him, Master Madara, you are so powerful, why can't you suddenly think about it? At this point, Heizetsu has revealed his flaws. As the embodiment of Madara's will, how can he not know Madara's thoughts? Uchiha Madara obviously noticed this, with a trace of anger flashing in his eyes. In a certain time and space, he was fooled by such a thing for so long. He fell silent and began to delay. Heiju mistakenly thought that he had touched Madara's sore spot and did not rush to urge her. Time passed quietly. A few minutes later, Madara had fully recovered from her injuries. I have to say that Black Jew is indeed useful, at least the level of Yin Yang style is very high. The vitality it provides once allowed Six Paths Obito, who was drawn out of Ten Tails, to live for a while longer. Although partly due to the residual power of Six Paths in Obito's body, Black Zetsu's contribution cannot be ignored. At this time, Heiju seemed to feel something, Master Madara. Uchiha Madara said calmly, get away from me first. 
Black Zetsu obeyed, and the part of it covering Madara's body slowly slid off like black mud, and finally reassembled on the ground, forming a dark human shape. Madara glanced at it, suddenly sighed, and pretended to want to talk. Oh, it's actually Hashirama. Although Heiju had no such thing as ears, he still turned his face sideways, with a focused expression, as if listening. It is particularly curious about what could make a character like Madara choose to commit suicide. But at this moment, Madara's expression suddenly changed and she suddenly took action. Four symbols seal. Madara's face is full of arrogance, can she react to my zero frame start? Madara slapped Heiju on the chest, and the sealing runes quickly spread to Heiju's body. The four elephant seal is about to take shape. Heiju's expression changed drastically. What's going on? Why would Madara attack herself without any warning? At this time, Madara acted again, intending to add another four-signed seal to form a more powerful eight-signed seal. Heiju had no time to think about it, so he decisively abandoned the first layer of his body, and his body size instantly shrank. In this way, it got rid of the unfinished four-image seal. After escaping, Heiju didn't dare to hesitate for a moment and immediately used Mayfly's technique to escape underground. You can actually escape. Madara was slightly startled. This Black Jew is really slippery. He did not hesitate, and before Black Jew completely disappeared, he quickly grabbed the scroll next to him and unfolded it. Strings of golden chains stretched out from the scroll, and the crisp sound of collision resounded. Sealing Techniques King Kong Sealing These are powerful sealing techniques that can temporarily restrain even Nine Tails. King Kong Blockade rushes towards Black Zetsu crazily. This move has its own tracking effect, and the golden chain directly penetrates Heiju's chest, binding it tightly. He instantly froze Heiju's figure trying to escape. Still want to run. Madara clenched the scroll in her hand, with a cold smile on her lips. Madara-sama. This is such a misunderstanding. Heiju shouted anxiously, and at the same time, his body yin-yang style turned sharply, trying to isolate the thick gold steel chain on his chest. Madara turned a blind eye to this and just approached slowly, her eyes showing non-negotiable determination. Seeing that Madara was about to touch him, under the influence of yin-yang style, the sealing power on Heiju miraculously relaxed, and he dived into the ground without hesitation, disappearing without a trace in an instant. Huh. Is there any other means? Madara frowned, looking a little surprised. Although Heiju escaped, the gold steel chains that bound him followed closely behind him, stretching all the way to the limit and forcefully pulling him back. HMPH, let's see if you can escape from my grasp today. Before she finished speaking, Madara's body surged with majestic power, and Suzano, the giant incarnation of the god of war, suddenly appeared. The mighty Tengu god of war directly breaks through the top of the cave and reaches into the sky. Madara shook the scroll in her hand and flew into the air with Suzano, while continuing to tighten the scope of Vajra's blockade. Time goes by, back to the present. Boom. Suzano swings the giant blade again. The strong sword light tore a deep crack in the earth, as if a gap had been opened in the earth. What went wrong? Black Zetsu is on the run and cannot fall into the hands of Uchiha Madara no matter what. Even if he didn't know how the other party would deal with him, the murderous intent rushing towards him made him dare not imagine the consequences. Once he makes a mistake, his mother will be trapped in the dim moon forever. This sealing techniques. Heiju tried his best, but he still couldn't get rid of the shackles of the diamond chain. Fate did not favor him. As the gold steel seal gradually tightened, he was ruthlessly dragged out of the ground. Once out of the soil, his ability to escape from the ground in an instant has nowhere to use, and he becomes a piece of fish on the chopping board, ready to be slaughtered. It's over. Despair was written on Heiju's face. At this moment, a crisp crackling sound sounded, and Heiju suddenly raised his head. He saw that the gold steel chains that were tightly wrapped around him began to break section by section, and with the breeze, the chains gradually dissipated. After all, it is a one-time prop and cannot last long. Losing the restraints of the shining golden chains, Black Jew fell straight to the ground. What? Madara was slightly surprised. There was a mistake at the critical moment. Holding the scroll that had lost its effectiveness, he could only watch as Heiju got closer and closer to the ground. Maybe this is God's will. Quote exclamation mark quote. 
Heiju is overjoyed. It seems that even God does not want to see his end. Seeing that the ground is getting closer and closer, as soon as he touches the ground, he can escape again. No matter how much Uchiha Madara shakes him, he cannot catch him. However, at this moment, a steady and powerful voice came from his ears. Sage Art Mayayinman. Before Black Zetsu could react, several huge Torii gates fell from the sky, covering the world. Boom boom boom. The Torii gates grew from small to large, suppressing Black Zetsu's body one after another, sealing all his power in an instant. This is the power of sage art, and Yin Yang style seems insignificant in front of it. The sound of footsteps came closer and closer. Black Zetsu raised his head feebly and looked in the direction of the sound. If it wasn't Senju Hashirama, who was it? In the entire ninja world, apart from him, there is no other person who can master such a move. Heiju's heart was as calm as dead water, and he completely gave up resistance. Boom! A figure fell from the sky, creating a deep crater. None other than Uchiha Madara. Good job, Hashirama. Madara stepped forward and laughed heartily. After many twists and turns, I finally got it. This black Zetsu is really cunning. No wonder he has been able to escape the ninja world for thousands of years. Heiju heard this and looked at Madara in disbelief. How could the other party know his name? Even know that he has lived for thousands of years? Heiju is full of suspicion, where did this information come from? If he hadn't been so suppressed at this moment that he didn't even have the strength to speak, he would have asked clearly. Madara took a few steps closer and came to Heiju, let me put an end to future troubles. He raised his hand, preparing to imprint the talisman of the four elephants seal on Heiju so that he would never see the light of day. However, Hashirama suddenly stretched out his hand and held him. Madara, wait a moment. Madara's movements paused. Although she had no words, her eyes were full of doubts. Keep him alive, Hashirama said while looking at Black Zetsu. Black Zetsu was also shocked. Senju Hashirama actually wanted to save him. Madara frowned, Hashirama, why is this? For hidden dangers like Black Jew, wouldn't it be easier to get rid of them directly? Before Madara could figure it out, Hashirama said something shocking again. Only Black Zetsu can resurrect Otsutsuki Kegaya. If he disappears, Kegaya will have no chance of rebirth. I want Kegaya to come back to the world. Hashirama's words shocked both Madara and Black Zetsu. Black Zetsu was shocked and couldn't believe it. He had no time to think about how the other party knew about Kegaya's existence. What surprised him now was that the other party actually wanted to help him rescue his mother. What a nice guy, Senju Hashirama. What a good nephew. If he had known this, why would my uncle have troubled himself? He would have gone to seek refuge with you. Looking at Hashirama who looked serious and obviously not joking, Madara couldn't help but ask, Hashirama, are you serious? Why can't I understand what you are saying? Are you going to release Kegaya? Then let her use infinite Tsukuyomi to suck everyone's chakra and eventually turn us all into white Zetsu. Madara glanced up and down between the pillars and said jokingly, If you really feel impatient with life, I can help you. After saying that, Madara slowly pulled out a sharp kunai from her sleeve. Black Zetsu's face instantly darkened, and he stared at Madara with wide eyes. Uchiha Madara stopped me from saving my mother. Uchiha Madara, bad. Senju Hashirama helped me save my mother. Senju Hashirama, good. Hashirama glanced at the kanai in Madara's hand, picked it up easily with two fingers, and threw it aside casually. This little thing can't kill me. Madara was speechless for a moment. Are you just teasing me when you committed suicide with a kanai? Hashirama coughed a few times and changed the subject. He said seriously, Madara, I do have my reasons for doing this. Do you think everything will be fine if you eliminate Black Zetsu and prevent Kegaya from ever being able to recover? Otherwise, Madara asked in confusion. It's not that simple. Kegaya is not the only one in the Otsutsuki family. In the near future, there will be other Otsutsuki coming to this ninja world. That will be another disaster. We must unite all the forces that can be united to jointly deal with foreign enemies. Kegaya's power cannot be wasted. An extra ally means a better chance of winning. Madara and Heiju seemed to be listening to a bizarre story when they heard this secret. Suddenly, Madara raised a question. No, Hashirama. 
As a member of the Otsutsuki clan, why would Kagaya join forces with us to deal with her own clan? What if she turns against her? Hashirama waved his hand. No, Kagaya violated a taboo and attacked a higher status Otsutsuki member. The hierarchy within their clan is strict, and now everyone within the Otsutsuki clan wants to kill her. In the Otsutsuki clan, lower-ranking clan members must unconditionally obey their superiors, even if it means sacrificing their lives. Just like Momoshiki and Jinshiki, if Kagaya and the following offenders are not punished severely, what will happen if other Otsutsuki follow suit? Her death sentence has already been determined. Besides, we have Kagaya's blood flowing in our bodies, I have the chakra of Asura who is constantly reincarnated in my body, and you are Indra. We are the descendants of Otsutsuki Hagoromo, the sage of six paths. From a certain perspective, we are related. After listening to Hashirama's explanation, Madara fell into deep thought. He didn't know how Hashirama knew this highly confidential information. Just by looking at Heizetsu's surprised expression, he knew that this dark thing also didn't know the inside story. But Hashirama knows everything clearly, starting from the time when he read Hashirama's memory of knowing the future at Nanga Shrine. He seemed to be getting more and more confused about Hashirama. After a while, Madara sighed. Hey, although there are many doubts, I decided to trust you. Hashirama, just follow your plan. I will not participate. Uchiha Madara shook his head and slowly turned away, leaving room for Hashirama and Black Zetsu to talk. He didn't want to see that guy Heiju again, for fear that he would take action on impulse. After Madara left, Hashirama immediately unlocked the Myojin Gate and released Black Zetsu. Without the suppression of Myojin Gate, Heizetsu rushed towards Hashirama immediately. Hashirama was slightly surprised. Did he still want to deal with himself after knowing the truth? However, soon, Hashirama felt at ease. Black Zetsu turned into a ball of black mud and wrapped around Hashirama's ankles, as if hugging his legs tightly. Good nephew. Let's go collect the tailed beasts now and rescue mom as soon as possible. Black Zetsu was excited. I will definitely convey these words to my mother. I believe she will not refuse our proposal of cooperation. For the first time in thousands of years, Heiju felt a sense of dependence. This feeling cannot be experienced when acting alone. He had also suspected that this was Hashirama's conspiracy, but then he thought that Hashirama had the chance to get rid of him forever, but chose to release him. Moreover, if Madara said such words, he would never believe it, but it would be different if it were Hashirama. Hashirama, or Ashura, is a straightforward and kind-hearted guy. He is not the kind of person who would deceive others and is trustworthy. Hashirama patted Heizetsu and said with a helpless smile, Don't worry, we don't even have the samsara eye, so even if we gather all the tailed beasts, it won't be useful. Heiju was stunned and suddenly realized. Well, good nephew, let's go find that guy Madara and let the powers of Indra and Asura merge into one. You can get the reincarnation eye. Hashirama smiled slightly. Let's go. What does a kitten meow? Ino raised her head, thought carefully, and answered, it should be meow meow, right? Yuyu shook her head and corrected her seriously. No, no, it should be my burning bat. E-H. Is, really like this. Ino was stunned for a moment and asked uncertainly. Ha ha ha. Shikamaru and Choji next to them couldn't hold it in any more and laughed softly. Ino looked back at their suppressed smiles and immediately understood that she had been teased by Yuyu. She even thought about it seriously for a long time. Looking back now, what kind of ghosts are all this? How can any kitten meow like that? Shinomiya Yuzuki. Ino's face darkened, and a dangerous light flashed in her eyes. We. Yuyu smiled playfully, turned around and ran away. Ino couldn't let him go and immediately chased after him. Don't even think about running away. Ino gritted her teeth and waved her fists in pursuit. Lao Ma, with a cigarette in his mouth, leaned against the tree and watched them playing and playing with a smile. He was thinking about whether to go find Yuhi Kurinai after today, but as soon as the idea came to him, his face turned slightly red. Let's forget it. I feel a little embarrassed. Early this morning, Yu Yu walked around the house and found that Kegaya was missing and was not at home. He was bored by being alone, so he simply went out to find Ino and the 10th class to play together. During this period, 
they in class 10 were studying with Lao Ma and taking on some simple D-level tasks in the village to practice. Things like driving away wild boars and finding lost puppies and kittens. It just so happened that today's mission was to find a kitten that had run away from home, which led to the scene just now. Just wait, you will be in trouble if I catch you. Eno panted and glared at Yu Yu angrily. Yu Yu stopped on the tree and looked at her with interest. Don't stop, you almost caught me. Yu Yu was very skilled, but deliberately did not open the distance too far, always keeping the distance that Eno could reach with hard work. But at the critical moment when she was about to be caught, Yu Yu would suddenly accelerate, causing Eno to miss. Eno was not impatient with Yu Yu's teasing, but secretly assessed the distance between the two. She took a few steps forward suddenly, raised her head, stretched out a hand, and looked at Yu Yu with a smile. Yu Yu, look here. What are you doing? Yu Yu looked over without thinking much. Seeing that Yu Yu's attention was attracted, Eno suddenly attacked, heart turning technique. An invisible spiritual power invaded Yu Yu's mind in an instant, but to Yu Yu, this weak power was not worth mentioning at all. It was immediately dissolved into nothingness. However, Yu Yu did not disappoint her and pretended to be stunned. It's done. Eno's eyes lit up and she thought her technique was working. Watch where you run this time. Eno chuckled and rushed over. The powerful impact caused the two of them to fall from the tree and to the ground. Eno took advantage of the situation and sat astride Yu Yu's chest. Using both hands and feet, he entangled Yu Yu's hands and feet, and used the restraint techniques learned in the ninja school to subdue him. Wow, what a powerful mind turning technique. Yu Yu suddenly woke up and pretended to be surprised. HMPH, you have seen how powerful our Yamanaka clan's secret skills are. Now there is nowhere to escape. Eno triumphantly pressed on him and smiled condescendingly. It's awesome, but your locking skills, ah, is it really used to deal with enemies? Yu Yu looked at Eno, who was close to her and moved extremely, intimately, and smiled meaningfully. If I were an enemy, I would probably enjoy it to death. When suppressing the enemy with limbs, there will inevitably be some physical contact, but Eno originally didn't think there was anything wrong with it. But when Yu Yu said this, she suddenly realized something was wrong. His face suddenly turned red. You. I'm really impressed by you, why are you so perverted? Eno hurriedly got up from Yu Yu, her face full of shame and anger. What kind of crazy locking technique is this? I didn't expect that the first time I used this technique in my life, I would be so disgusted that I would never use it again. Yu Yu put her hands behind her head, crossed her legs and looked at her with a smile. I'm obviously a victim, but why do you act like I'm taking advantage of you? Eno's cheeks turned red, she gave him a hard look, kicked Yu Yu on the butt, and then turned around and left. I'm too lazy to pay attention to you. I'm going to complete the task. Don't bother me. But after walking a few steps, Yu Yu's voice came from behind. We went in the wrong direction, the kitten is over there. Eno turned around in confusion and saw that Yu Yu was pointing in the opposite direction to what she just pointed. How do you know? Is it nonsense? Eno asked suspiciously. Don't believe it. Then let's make a bet. If the kitten is really in the direction I pointed, you will give me another set of locking skills. Lock me tight. On the other hand, if you are not here, I will obey whatever you say, how about that? A touch of confidence appeared on Yu Yu's face. With his current keen perception, even without the assistance of Sage Mode, he can easily cover one third of the entire Konoha village. Looking for a kitten. Isn't it easy to find it? Eno noticed Yu Yu's undoubted look of confidence, thought about it, and walked in the direction Yu Yu pointed. Then I'll believe you this time. Hey, will you agree to the bet we agreed on? Yu Yu asked loudly behind her. Go find Choji to play with you. Yu Yu shook her head, burst into laughter, and then simply lay down on the grass, letting the warm sunshine gently brush her face. Start your daylight recharge today. Not long after, Eno returned holding a blue and white kitten. She stroked the kitten's soft hair and said with a smile, you really guessed it right. This is called strength, guess what? Yu Yu rolled her eyes. What a beautiful kitten. As soon as she finished speaking, Yu Yu's eyes fell gently on the kitten in Eno's arms, her eyes twinkling slightly. So cute, I really want to keep one. The little cat brother felt Yu Yu's eyes, and suddenly felt a suffocating feeling like a python wrapping around him. 
Seeing the frightened kitten, Yuyu smiled and said to Ino. You can take it away. I'm so nervous that I'm sweating when I look at it. Then why are you scaring it? Ino shook her head helplessly, hugged the kitten and went to complete the task. Yuyu narrowed her eyes and continued to enjoy the sunbathing leisurely. Bite. Group member Senju Hashirama greatly changed the fate of the world. Reward 500,000 gold coins. The group leader will receive the same amount of rewards. Yuyu, who was originally leisurely and contented, relaxing and basking in the sun, heard the news. The body suddenly straightened up. Yuyu sat up suddenly. I'll go. 500,000. Oh my god. Yuyu's eyes widened. To have such a big impact, Hashirama's plan must have been successful. Hashirama has indeed reaped the huge bonus of being early in the timeline. Many events have not yet happened. A slight change will have an earth-shaking impact on the follow-up. And this huge change means countless gold coins, which is extremely exciting. When Danzo was killed in Yu-Yu's timeline, he was only given a measly 20,000 gold coins, which was pitifully little, but Minato was given 100,000 gold coins after he eliminated Danzo. Although it also includes the factors that saved the three people of the Akatsuki organization, Danzo's contribution is definitely not small. The reason is that at this time, Danzo has basically done what he should do, and there is not much room for change. After the reward news was broadcast, the group chat did not end. Bite. To upgrade the group chat, you need to obtain a total of gold coins, 1 million. The total amount of gold coins you have obtained is, 1.1 million, which meets the group chat upgrade conditions. Current group chat level, 2, Eternal King Power Bonus, level 1. Do you want to upgrade now? Need to ask. Of course I agree without hesitation. Upgrade. After the group chat has been upgraded, new people can be brought in again. Who will it be this time? Yu Yu is full of expectations. Speaking of which, there aren't any girls in the group. It's just old men chatting all day long. The yang energy is too high. Vegetative state, blur, flash, white mask, madara, it's really the sun, there is no trace of yin. While he was thinking about it, a new message popped up in the chat group that made him startled. Group chat upgrade progress. 1%, 1.02%. What? Still need more time to upgrade. Yu Yu's eyes widened. Here I go, I thought it was just an instant. He remembered that with the bonus of eternal kingship, didn't the group chat increase instantly? Lao Ma, what is going on? Is it a bug or something? Yu Yu asked directly to the chat group. The bonus of eternal kingship is above the rules, you can upgrade without waiting. But normal level improvement requires a certain amount of loading time. The chat group quickly provided an explanation. That's it, okay, let's wait. Yu Yu accepted it. Anyway, it was just a matter of waiting a few more days. Come on, let's activate the group chat. Yu Yu immediately opened the group chat interface. In the group, the group members were extremely active, and there were so many chat records that it took more than a minute to scroll up to read them all. Yuzuki roughly summarized it, usually Hashirama and Madara discuss construction topics. Madara is currently busy rebuilding the ninja world and has rich experience in this area. There was also Itachi, who would occasionally ask his seniors for advice in the group, and at first they were all about Konoha. But recently, he has frequently asked Hashirama about the development of the immortal human body. It seems that he has already acquired the immortal human body. It seems that a healthy ferret is about to come to the world. Finally, it's about that boy Obito. Yinian village is ready to move, the army is pressing on the border, and war is about to break out. He had now followed Namikaze Minato to the front lines. Shinomiya Yuzuki, at Uchiha Obito, a fight is about to begin. Remember to be careful, don't underestimate the enemy because of the virtualization. If the boat capsizes in the gutter, it's not worth it. Yuzuki's worries are not unreasonable. Although Obito has the eternal Mangekyo, he has extremely little actual combat experience, and this guy's character. Tisk, an impulsive and passionate young man can easily cause trouble on the battlefield. Konoha 47 years. On the edge of the land of fire, in the base camp of Konoha village, a key meeting was in full swing. In the conference room, there were a circle of Konoha's top masters sitting around. These elite Jonin were all the main force in the war that was about to break out. 
Namikaze Minato was focusing on sharing the first-hand information he got from Obito. If Obito hadn't, previewed, the script, Konoha might not have been able to respond so quickly. Obito passed the information to Minato without reservation, and as soon as Minato reported it, the entire army was like clockwork, ready to resist the invasion of Iwagakur village. The atmosphere of the meeting was serious, and Obito, who was concentrating on listening to the strategy, was suddenly interrupted by the group chat prompt, and Yuyu at him in the group. He immediately opened the chat interface and checked the information. Facing Yuyu's worries, Obito's lips raised slightly. Uchiha Obito. Don't worry, Yuzuki, I'm not idle during this time. Kakashi and I practiced taijutsu during the day, and our actual combat experience points increased steadily. At night, I will learn tactical layout and battlefield planning from teacher Minato. I am much stronger now than before. Six paths Obito, really. Give me back the truth-seeking ball. Uchiha Obito. Why do you keep thinking about this? How about this, how about I give you a photo in exchange? Six paths Obito, HMPH, you want to exchange a photo for my truth-seeking ball. Do you think it's from a street vendor? That is a treasure that combines seven attributes. Except for sage jutsu, it is indestructible. How can it be? Uchiha Obito, it's a photo of Kakashi wearing a maid outfit. It's a souvenir I won when we were betting some time ago. This is the only one. If you don't want it. Six paths Obito. Wait a minute, let's take a look first. Uchiha Obito sent a picture to Six Paths Obito. Six Paths Obito has received the picture. Six Paths Obito, good stuff. Changed. Minato looked around and saw everyone looking shocked, and asked. Okay, that's my battle plan. Do you have any questions? Everyone John and looked at each other with disbelief in their eyes. Minato's arrangements were so detailed that as long as he followed the steps step by step, victory would be within his grasp. The intelligence was so accurate that it even covered Iwakakur's attack time and supply routes, which was amazing. Seeing that no one spoke, Minato's eyes fell on Obito, who was lost in thought. Obito, do you have any insights? If you have any, you might as well tell me and give everyone some inspiration. As Minato finished speaking, the eyes of all the Jonin could not help but show admiration and fell on Obito. Uchiha Obito, this name is almost known to everyone in Konoha. Suzano's earth-shattering performance in the Chunin exam made him famous overnight. After Uchiha Madara, he is the second Uchiha tribesman to master this god's power. If it weren't for his lack of outstanding military exploits, his reputation would have already surpassed that of his mentor, Namikaze Minato. Despite this, he is still the star of hope in the minds of many people, including the Uchiha clan. Awakened by Minato, Obito came back to his senses from the group chat. Ah, my thoughts. I think Minato Sensei's arrangements have been very thorough. I don't have anything to add. Now that Mr. Minato had made all the arrangements, he didn't want to add anything to the problem. Okay, since everyone has no objections, let's start executing. Disband. Following Minato's order, the people in the camp quickly dispersed, each performing their duties. Only Minato and Obito were left. As the commander of this battle, Minato has the teleportation skill Flying Thunder God, and he will shuttle across the battlefield as a quick support point. Obito, on the other hand, will be like a divine weapon descending from heaven at the critical moment, giving the enemy a fatal blow. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.